Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Move that out a bit. I've got all the cats I've on got, the couch. I, they're all the cats right oh, now. Oh, you can't see this cat. No. But there is a there's a sprite down here. And there's a great oh, cat here. Oh, he's angry. Uh, <laughs> we are... Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. Mm -hmm. And tonight we have three games. Two new. Oh. Two, uh, one new, two classic games. Very well, nice. one is new as well mm. of the other ones. Can you guess? Uh, <laughs> we're going to be playing Asteroids. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. From uh, Pac Man Plus, Bob De Crescenzo. Uh, also, the Pac Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition, mm. which was just released at PRGE. Ooh. I don't have the box, but I will have the box for Atari Age yeah. Day. Fall edition. Um, but first up, we're going to be playing Cartesian Chaos by Carl G. And all the developers are in the chat tonight. Oh, Carl excellent. G's in the chat. Nice. Um, Bob DeCrescenzo's in the chat. Nice. So this is awesome. Excellent. ZPH are taking shirts for granted. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, granite. It's a very terrible pun. Yes. Um, but yeah, we, we happen to have two Asteroids t-shirts. Yes. One that Tammy just to. picked up yeah. at uh, PRG. Yes. The one I've had for a while. Yeah. And that shirt was being bad in the laundry. It was. And it uh, dyed one of my shirts. I won't get it. No. But, <laughs> he's um, very he's very upset. <laughs> yeah. It it, uh, it, was it my ran a little bit. Exploded view of the twenty six hundred. Yeah. Um, from the uh, computer museum museum yeah. in California, but I just ran it through with OxyClean and it came out. <gasps> Good. I didn't think dye would come out, but it uh, came out. As long as it was just on the surface, it, not like absorbing. Yeah, it was just yeah. on the surface. Yeah, yeah that was luckily. that was uh, upsetting. I didn't think it was going to run so much, but... I didn't think it was going to come out after it did. It faded. It looks No, no. Good, so. Very strong still. Oh, wow. Uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers mm. scrolling down mm -hmm. beside Tanya. A whole bunch resubscribed just at the top of the show. Like, a ton. Uh, so, uh, apologies if I miss any of them, because yes. I had to Add them in quickly. Uh, Helena for Arkham H, Arb Scar Coder, Atari 1974, Atari Age, Atari Patch Quest, BR Poker, Kaffeman 2D, Carlos Madruga, Charles Don Mao, Charles Whelan, Cheat Gamer, Colonel Lama, Cubanismo, Dianoid, Dan Vici, Dr. Mukaus, Isernosov, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Joe Rapper, Johnny WC, Kabuto, JRM, Carl G, Ken Jenkins, Invader, Lambda Express, Lauren TDZ, Mark Yannis, Mark Space, Hang, Metal Atari 1969, McMuse, Mike Sol, Mike Littell, uh, Miss Man, MK Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Money Funster, Nostalgic. 26 pack rap VG Pac Man Plus. Welcome. Kohawk 2600 RC70 Rounded Ghost of Penless VG Ricardo Pimps Rod Castler Smitty B Spiceware S Ramirez The Welshman Tiki Dan K Trek MD 2600 Vitoko X Ken X. He is full of beans. He is a crazy. Um, so I want to thank all the people who subscribed at the top of the show, including Six Sweet. Yes. Uh, just before the show, Dr. <laughs> uh, Dr. Moo Cows gave a uh, sub to Pac Man Plus. Um, Carl G resubscribed. Dr. Mookhouse resubscribed. Yum, 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 yum. Uh, Rendered Ghost gave one to Chelsea Donnie Mao. Oh, nice. Uh, Arm Scar Coda resubscribed. Uh, uh, so I thank all of you guys. So yeah. it's uh, treat time while Ooh. I go through some some news and stuff. Mm -hmm. We can feed the cats. Who fed the cats? Uh, RC70. Thank you, RC70. There's a cat cam. Okay. For feeding. Yep. And get out the tree. All right. I'll get out the bells. Who's going to ring it? Oh, they both rang it at the same time, <laughs> pretty much. If you started early, then you might get an extra treat time. That's in. right, because yeah. there's an hour between treat times. Did so. you ring? You rang. Yeah, you did. Yes, okay. So great. if you ring it right away, yeah. you can do another one an hour. Often. In. Yeah. Oh, ah, ooh, ah. Um, so go. if you didn't hear your name on the list, you, list, you can resubscribe. Uh, it's free with Amazon Prime. There's a little checkbox. So there is a poll question. Uh, how long have you been an Atari Age forum member? Mm. I definitely have never asked this question before. No, I don't think you have. So let's start the poll. Or I haven't heard it. Um, answer one, under five years. Answer two, five to you ten years, it. which I am nine there years, so I'm number two. Oh. Uh, number three, ten to fifteen years. Four, fifteen to twenty years. Woo. Number five, twenty plus years. So what do you get when you hit twenty years? Like, do you get like a retirement watch at that point? Like, they there should be there should be some merch. <laughs> and you get I kicked guess. off the forums. <laughs> You're retired. You're retired now. <laughs> You've had enough. Gold watch, yeah. 20 years. Did you hit the bell? Um, Did you hit the bell? Yeah, log in to go see if you can't remember. 
I question about time, my worst subject. I'll have to check five ish. Um, so I joined the forums on October 10th, 2013. So I just over nine years. Um, and my first post was April 17th, 2015. <laughs> he meowed at me. <laughs> he's tried, but he's failed a couple of times. Oh, That's well. Try needs... again. Hit it. Good there kitty. Go. All right. All done. All done. Um, <laughs> so the earliest um, capture that I could find of... One second. Where's the left page? There we go. Of of uh, Atari Age mm -hmm. was uh, the Atari 2600 Nexus, it was called before mm. before that. So they were concentrating just on 2600 games. Mm. Um, the earliest capture I could find is from uh, August 15th, 2000. Okay. Um, and I know they operated before that time, but there was reasonably a forum early. called yeah. the WWW Board. Oh. And you can click on it still in the um, archive.org. Really? And it'll bring up uh, nothing. a list. It takes a while. <laughs> it's not a real web page. No, it's, it's true. It's an archived web yeah. page. Wow. And um, not many names I recognized, net recognize here that have been around for 20 years. Mm. Um, but there were a few, um, not that are active. Eckhart Stolberg, I, I recognize that name as developer, mm. um, but there are not active anymore. Where's one that I saw that was active um, still? Wow. Oh, I can't see it anymore. But there was one. But no, yeah. I'm, I'm sure there's people on here that are still active, but I just don't recognize them because they live in another area of the board. Mm. But this is all uh, 2,600, I guess, enthusiasts at this time. Yeah. Well, I must have passed it, but I can't remember. Uh, Danny C joined March 2002. Mm. Wow, 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 wow. It's funny that six years makes me a newbie by comparison. <laughs> I know, that's crazy. A lot of people have been on the Atari Age forums for, for a, long, a time. long time. Yeah. And that's why I wanted to ask this question because it's like, oh, people have been around for a long time. Yeah. Um, so let's see what it says right now. It's pretty evenly split, but most people have been there five to ten years. 35%. Did you put what's what's Atari age? <laughs> what is Atari age? That should have been one of your answers. Oh, what is it? <laughs> what uh, are the Atari age for? I mean, you could I could put not because maybe <laughs> yeah. some people watching the show. Of course, live, not everyone and not everyone is on Atari highly age. Highly unlikely. <laughs> you're 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 biasing it a little bit there, but yeah, um, it's highly unlikely. I'm not I'd on the say. Atari age forums. You just you tell me answer. what's on the Atari age forums every twice a week. So, uh, <laughs> I That's don't true. need to be on it right now. Well, you cannot but, answer. Uh, That's yeah. true. true. I'm not an Atari. Yeah. Metal Lunar 7. See, Metal Lunar 7. And you don't have to answer. No. <laughs> so it's for pe I guess the A question is for but people. But you who... should ask how many people aren't in the Atari H form. A lost opportunity. Yeah, it is a lost opportunity. One at least. Put a zero. A <laughs> zero. I, I can't change it. No, no, but put a zero. If, oh, just if, type a zero. Yeah, it won't zero. show up. I'm the one who hasn't zero. covered it yet. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I thought that was interesting. Whole thing. Um, so let's get on to the news. Uh, the Atari uh, Lynx Jam 2022 mm -hmm. is coming up in 25 days. It was mm -hmm. just announced. Uh, submissions open from November 20th at 6 a.m. to December 12th. These are for Atari Lynx programmers. They usually fund t uh, little games that they submit. So they're there. It's like a game making competition. Yes, oh. that's right. And uh, usually uh, they're compiled. Yep. into a cartridge mm. and uh, sold as a cartridge. So it's like a compilation of kind of mini games. Nice. So Lynx Jam 2022 Millennial Games. Uh, nice. Sponsored by Argon, Atari Gamer, K Retro, and Yes Tuna Games. Nice. Uh, you must have fun. It is a requirement. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, follow the theme of the jam, which I guess is Millennial Games. Millennial Games? Don't know what really that means. Does it uh, explain it? Uh, uh, make a mini game within the next 22 games. Uh, the emphasis 22 here on days. 22 yeah. days. Uh, have fun. <laughs> smile people's faces. Unranked jam. Collaborating. Uh, the Earth's theme is full details of the theme will be announced when the jam starts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they haven't announced it. Um, which is a usual thing when you're doing, say, film contests or any kind of contest. Mm -hmm. It's like, you have to follow a theme, but we won't tell you what the theme is, so it's more guaranteed that 
your game will be within the time frame. Like they're going to give you information that you have to include in your game, oh, so that you can't yes. start early. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, hmm. You could kind of make a general game and get everything going, but not like you can have you can have a structure the and graphics. then have a little bit of flexibility in it. Yeah, yeah I could. But that's see cheating, that. Stone. Yeah, that's I guess cheating. it is. Yeah, the beatings will continue. It's not like people improves. can't cut and paste code from other places, so. Right. Yeah. I, I mean, I don't you know. I, I know out. nothing about Atari. No, but I mean, from your own. Oh, from your own you've stuff. Oh, yeah, that's I what I. Not so. not from like established games. I'm just saying. Yeah. You know, you can have you can have a little bit of of help with, around you to. I I'm to piece stuff together. Demos or know. broken submissions I don't, I don't will be disqualified. Games. Make it playable. Well, that's that's quite a. Make it playable. Make yeah. sure you have to. That's be, a that's a low bar. <laughs> yeah. Most jam, game jams have a rule allowing to use whatever you have, you have lying, lying around. around. Yeah, okay. that's what I would think. Hi. So it doesn't have to be from scratch, scratch, but no. things you've been kind of working on in the background, I, but well, it has to I be on theme. I think most most people who code have. Yeah, because it doesn't say. Their cheats, their little, their little cut and paste that they can use to help them along. Oh, you right? can port a game from another system, even. Oh, that's interesting. Ah. Uh, all games will be put on a physical multi-cart, nice. and you get a free copy of the cart. Oh, so nice. any developers out there who develop for Lynx, that's coming up. You probably already know about it because mm -hmm. you'd be in the community. Toolkits and stuff. Yes. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, so this was asked on get out of here Facebook uh, <laughs> yesterday. Okay. To Dan, uh, Dan Kitchen, Gary Kitchen, David Crane, is anything happening with Casey's Gold? Are you still planning to release? Circus Convoy is fantastic. And Dan answered, Hi, Gregory, Casey's Gold is getting wrapped up. We'll post details when it's ready Ooh. to be released. So that sounds like it's coming soon-ish. Yeah. yeah, it'll be interesting to see um, that game when it's done yeah. and uh, show it on uh, Zero Page. And we know it's train themed. It's yeah. a playoff of the game that he started. Yeah. Uh, you can go inside the train and opens up uh, kind of a see-through wall to get stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, it looks really interesting. Cool. Um, and that brings us to the games. And the first game is Cartesian Chaos. Uh, it was posted just a couple days ago. First posted on to October 22nd. This builds from October 24th. Mm. 48k games by Carl G. Carl Garrison, uh, who made 2600 words, cannons, Cartesian Chaos for 7800, mm. Cosmic Cabbie for 7800. Hopefully, you continue that. Uh, Toy Shop, Terminator, Space Game, Penalt, RC Sumo Bots, Raindrops, Robot Tag, Save the Dinos, which we played recently. Mm. So he's been busy. Uh, Space Debris, Space Venture, and Witches. Tower. Uh, you can download this in the Atari Age forums. So uh, it is a uh, kind of influenced by another game, which is influenced by an arcade game. So we'll, we'll trace this through. Okay. Um, so the arcade game is called Targ. Um, I can probably leave it in that window because it is so. vertical. Yeah. Um, so this is. An arcade game. Sound? Oh, yeah, there is. Uh, that good. honestly sounded like someone going pew 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 <laughs> pew 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 pew. Don't think it's a sample though. Uh, Targ is a 1980 arcade game, arcade maze shoot 'em up developed by Exidy, depicting vehic vehicular combat in a future world. Oh my Ooh, God! Sorry that was loud. for your ears. Uh, wasn't too bad out there because there's limiters and stuff, but here it's loud. Um, played lots of Targ when I worked at an arcade, SMR says. Mm. I heard a dog bark yesterday that sounded like a lady doing a dog impression. Bark, bark, <laughs> rough, rough. That's so funny. And then there was a port to the 2600 made. Let me just... Um, there we go. That's better because it's wider. Um, so this was the 2600 game that originally was developed in 1983 mm -hmm. by CBS Electronics called Targ. They were they were making a port of the arcade game. Gotcha. Um, but then it was shelved because of the crash of 8384. Gotcha. And then re-released or released in 1988 by oh. Telegames okay. called Universal Chaos probably a more approachable name and probably nobody had 
new target. New way. target that yeah. point, five years later, when so many games had come out. So this was ported to the 2600, and um, pretty pretty much exactly the same as the arcade. Yeah. Um, you are getting chased by potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, potatoes with holes, with eyes in them. And so you're in your car, yeah. and then little little uh, things get released, like little oh, extra guys are... that go right after you. Because the other the other potatoes <laughs> uh, don't go directly after you, but but the fly kind of the goes fly after goes for you. Through. Yeah. So there is uh, Targ slash Universal Chaos, mm. which is probably a better name, Universal Chaos anyway. Mm. Um, which is uh, the name that Carl G. kind of adopted, Cartesian Chaos. Cartesian Chaos. Definitely better than Targ. Targ? <laughs> target? Mm, I guess. So he says, the idea for this game uh, came from watching Zero Page Homebrew's playthrough of Atari 2600 oh, games. Oh, okay. Lost Classics. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Late in the run was a game called Universal Chaos, mm. uh, which is unofficial port of the ar arcade game Targ. Well, mm -hmm. um, kind of official. Kind they, of. It, it was official, and then they changed the and name. I, yeah. Um, I had not heard of either game previously. Oh, till we did the playthrough. The Atari port is fun to play, yeah. but it seems like a pretty rushed port with some visual glitches. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's some weird flicky things uh, on the screen. Um, the arcade game seems pretty cool, but the visuals are not the greatest. Anyway, I was inspired to make my own Targ-like game with hopefully better visuals and slightly different gameplay. Mm. The core mechanics are the same, but the boss is replaced by a bomber that plants mines. The mechanic is still under development and will likely evolve. So this is an early, early in the development, but it's fully, fully playable. Um, so I'll give it to you and we'll switch over. Love the Cartesian melody. Have you played a Targi today? <laughs> funny, 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 funny. <laughs> so let's switch over. RJ's dragonfly. That's right. I love that dragonfly. It is super cute, isn't oh. it? It's great. There we go. So, um, okay. It looks a little different. This nice. is more on a like the rainbow, sh rainbow ships. Cartesian yeah. coordinates. Um, it's on uh, a grid rather than going in between blocks. Oh. Be careful with the shoes. So you can't turn around. No. Um, and you don't want to run into them. You want to no, shoot. No, I'm, I'm figuring out my so, strategy. Here. Story is. Hyperspace Grid is under attack by drones sent by the evil Vincular. Uh, who, who, no, you have to turn, but not turn around. It's not like Pac-Man. Uh, who wish to subvert it for their own use. Uh, in their quest to dominate the galaxy, you are a renowned pilot serving the collective of allied species and have been tasked with remotely uh, piloting a special ship designed to destroy those drones. So you're fighting against drones there at this time, not potatoes. Um, and keep the hyperspace grid safe and free for all to use. Good luck with your mission. Instructions. Navigate the grid with your joystick and use the joystick button to fire a missile. Uh, your ship has three speeds, as indicated by the ship engine color, and the speed on the, of the in-game music. Blue is slowest, yellow is medium, so you're in yellow now, and red is the fastest. Is super loud. Oh, it is a bit loud. Thank you. Check, check, check. Okay. There we go. Game volume is quite loud. Yeah, it's hard to tell because I can't hear what you guys are hearing, so all mm -hmm. I can do is look at Look levels. at your levels and hope for the best. Yeah, some some shows are like, oh my god, the game is like super, super loud, and I can't tell unless somebody tells me, so... They're hard when they're fast. Because <laughs> they're they're like actively running away. There you go. So let me know if it's better now. No, because sometimes I turn too low and then you can't hear it at all. Which sucks. So maybe keeping it just below the yellow is good. Better. Better. Okay. Okay. Technical notes. 
Uh, this is a 48k game made with 7800 basic and using 160a mode. I'm happy with my choice of tool set and graphics mode. I laughed, laughed at that when Why? he posted that. Because whenever somebody makes a 7800 game, there's always like two or three people suggesting a different mode, graphics mode for them to use. It's like, really? wouldn't it be better if you switch to 160? Or wouldn't it be better if you switched to 320? Because you'll have more, either either more colors or the other way, higher resolution graphics. And it's like, no, no, no. <laughs> it's just so funny. Sound is a TIA with all sound effects in one channel and music in the other. This is an early work in progress and likely has some bugs I haven't found yet, as well as features that are not fully fleshed out like the bomber. Uh, feedback on gameplay and fun factors definitely appreciated. Terrible. I'm going through that 7800 suggestion experience right now. <laughs> yeah, lots of people, like, I see it almost all the time um, in when people are developing games. Um, suggestions are good. Right? Oh yeah, it's suggestions because if you, if you want them. Ah. More like constructive con cons uh, criticism is good. Um, if you're asking for it. If you're asking for it. It's yeah. it's it's, it's uh, unpleasant if it's not something <laughs> you ask for. So. Yeah, and and always it's always the graphics modes, even in Atari, in the Atari 8-bit forms as well. There's lots of people who like to oh change it to this, change it to this, change it to this. Um, um, and some of it's it's very good suggestions, but it always seems like every single time it happens. It's really, really funny. And then people have to defend the developer has to defend their their use <laughs> of of what mode they're using and why they're using it and and usually it's it's well thought out beforehand. And, unless you're a beginner at, at developing. Because then you're like, oh I don't know, I'll just pick this one because it seemed like it worked. Um, things that need to be done. Uh, refine the bomber mine laying mechanisms. Still figuring out where I want to go with this. Yeah, uh, wonder. I mean, everything looks good. Like the bomb laying things, they're just randomly placed. Maybe it gets more important on higher levels. Close. Higher levels. They have to, because they go so fast. Oof, he's chasing you. Loop around. Do a barrel roll. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, with the, uh, with the mines, you have to make sure you shoot well before... Ooh, close! Have him blow at a lane. Nope. That would be... yeah. What is that? Not Bomberman. Is it Bomberman? Uh, yeah, Bomberman, you, you can lay bombs. Boom! That would be interesting to lay a, a, a mine somewhere that can take out a whole row. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, there is a second button. And since he's not um, doing a port of the game... He's, he's doing his own thing, Terrible. just kind of in, like uh, inspired from the game. Um, yeah, you could lay your own bombs on a line. And wherever it is on that line, either vertically or horizontally or both, it could blow up everything on that line. And maybe you get one per level. Yeah. Like one mine per level. And that's like, oh, I'm in trouble. I need to lay this, this bomb. That would be interesting. Um, Terrible at this. Collision detection between enemies. The 2600 port ignores this, but the arcade has enemies switch directions if they hit each other. Oh. Um, I guess they would like bounce off each other and go in opposite directions. Huh? Yeah, they just pass through each other right now. Um, but Carl says this means 45 different collision checks to cover all the combinations of 10 enemies, though. Ah, too close. That, that's, that's a lot. Um, I'm sure some logic can cut that down, but you still have oh, to... you can turn around! What? Oh, it slows down. Very time-consuming, though. Interesting. I didn't, I didn't need, like, I, I tried, when I was playing it, I just tried to press Metal in that direction, and it's like... Uh, uh, thank you, 2600, for resubscribing! Two... Zero page. Four months. Thank you so much. Did you guys catch that? That you can turn around? You yeah, no, no, I just tried it. I was like, you slow and back? reverse your momentum. And I'm like, I didn't know that. But you said says, you couldn't. I didn't. I blame James. <laughs> yeah, you can blame me. I, I, didn't I didn't know. know. Because I just pressed in the direction and it's like, oh, it didn't do anything. So, oh. I don't Managing dodge your momentum well. is the challenge. Yeah. Now, in terms dodge of speeds, well. how do you change the speeds? 
you just keep pressing? You don't pressing? speed up, but you can You slow down to turn oh, around. Oh, so you can control your speed by by pressing. Not it. really speed. No, you can't. See, I go right to is the speed. Fastest, but if you press back, it'll slow you, you slow, down. You slow down. I don't right? know if you can stay. There. Oh, you can stay slow. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. I, I, yeah. I killed myself. Which on the slow speed will be nice. faster to turn around. Yeah. Because you don't have to. Oh my God, that was close. Yep. <laughs> Um, and he also wants to add a title screen as well. My turn. Okay. The arcade and 2600 have three, three speeds, speed, so speed. you slow down and okay. flip around. That's neat. You have to play with it. I'm just not doing well. I was not, I was not dodging. I was not paying attention to, oh, dodge out of the way. It's not too bad to turn around, actually. No, it's not. Oh, come on. No, they do that all the time. Oh. Ah, there you go. So when it when a uh, circle lights up, it's going to place um, a mine somewhere. Mm. You just don't know which of the four quadrants. So it gives you ample time to avoid it. Mm -hmm. So if you run into the mine, I assume it explodes. But if you explode it and you're too close, you also die. Yeah, because it takes time to, to the shrapnel yeah. to go away, I guess. Yeah. get points for them. It's, it's more like, oh, they're in the way. Yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Nice, nice. Pua. I, I like, like grid-based games. That's why. <laughs> they're really interesting and challenging because yeah. you can't just go anywhere you want. You have to... Ugh, I know. You have to really think about, like, um, when you're going to turn. Mm -hmm. Especially with the mines. They don't jump too fast. I play this pretty good rapid fire. Nice. nice. Thinking of uh, remaining mines subtract from the bonus. That's, that that's would be not, good. That's a good idea, actually. So you have to concentrate score. on the mines before you kill the last guy. Before, yeah, you, you don't want to do leave it on the screen. That's awesome. And then if it gets really hard, maybe you just go in. Yeah, you kind you're of like, man. Yeah. I, I, oh God. I really like that because there is um, mm. risk reward. And that's what you need in every game. Is is like, oh, should I do this or this? It's going to affect the outcome of my game. Ah. RC70, isn't grid base just basically Pac-Man with a uniform <laughs> tunnel pattern? Technically, well, it, it stems from that. Yeah. <laughs> Were there, there must have been grid base games before Pac-Man. Where I you're confined... So. To moving on a grid. I mean, yeah. Pac Man popularized it, obviously. Mm. Um, okay, I'll go again. 34. Not bad. Now that I know how to play a bit. Or no more options to play. Ooh, stay with me. Oh, come on. It's a very easy maze game. Which this one? <laughs> In terms of maze, yes. Go, go, go. Oh, I tried to slow down. I know. Grids are cool. Yeah, the mines don't give you points, but they should take them away. That's. I like that idea. Like a hundred for each one. Yeah. Yeah. Something like that. Because the bonus is a thousand, or and it maybe it increases every time. I'm not sure on the amount, but yeah, I do like the oh, suggestion. This is a much uh, easier game when you can slow down <laughs> and speed up. Although I don't know if it's faster to just go around in a circle or like complete, like, no, it's faster to go in a circle. <gasps> Ooh, he like went right that. for you. I think they're very random though. Don't, I don't think they chase you at all. Is there any AI at all, Carl? Or do they just kind of do their own thing? Come on. Okay, there we go. Nope. It's too many. Ah. Get rid of some of these. I think, you know what I, I think might be cool? What? And then this might be too complex. Uh, if you blow up the mine, it actually breaks the grid. So you oh. have to go around it. Like it uh, explodes the four lines around oh it. Oh boy. That's quite something. That might be, be cool. too complicated. Oh uh, yeah, it might be. I don't Damn know. it. That's but about that the same. That would be cool. 
Same amount I got last time. <laughs> solid gameplay, yes. Very solid. Oh yeah, one more. <laughs> ah, slow! Random directions for turns until the final three, then they always turn in your direction when they oh. turn. So the final three will will go uh, go after you. Okay. Interesting. Okay. All the points are made with the bonus. Mm. Oh, come on. It's much faster to turn around. Mm. Or to go around the, um, the blocks. I do like that, like that exploding grid. I don't know if it's possible. I don't it, know because you're. If it's held in memory or if your it's. Your grid just... would change as you play, and I That's don't know great. if that might be hard. I don't know. Uh, it depends how the grid is stored and how it's checked. Yeah. Whether you're turning, when you're turning, because it's everything. Oh, everything's uniform, right? There's no spot where you cannot go, except on the edges. God! Last three are brutal. Mm -hmm. Dare you to play just one game, says S. Ramirez. <laughs> yeah, it's one of those where it's like, I can do better. I know I can do better. So 2,000 for the next level. So yeah, I think it should go up with it. Yeah. It's like each one is 200 points next mm -hmm. one, then 300, or it, it follows the bonus. you ate that one. <laughs> uh, pretty much. You couldn't even see my bullet. It yeah. was so close. The grid is in RAM. I'm, I'm not sure if I want the grid to be destroyed, though. <laughs> yeah. It, it's quite a change to the game. Oh, no, no. Yeah. It, uh... No! I did better. You want to go again? Mm -hmm. We'll both play one more. Sounds good. Very good at turning. What was I reading about? Was it on this thread about caching the um, <sighs> the joystick turns? I, th I think it was on this thread where he improved the um, the stiffness of the game so that you don't have to hold it when you want to turn, so you can. Oh, oh no, no, too, no, close. too close. Damn it. Um, you don't have to hold it when you turn. You can press it before you get there. Just a little bit. Yeah. Maggie had the same issue of wanting to play more. Considered to be a good sign. Yes. Oh, right into it. No. Yeah. The just one more turn. Oh. I, I wish you, it was not. You didn't have to wait for the shot. I just want to. I just want to hammer them. With <laughs> Rapid fire. Rapid fire shots. Yeah. No. Uh, that's that not how the these dream. games work. I know. You get one shot at a time. I right? know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Come here. Where are you going? There we are. <laughs> nice. Just like Pac-Man, as you learn their behavior, yeah, it becomes it gets easier. easier. I found that with playing. No, as I die. I like Pac-Man a lot more because I've played a lot more Pac-Man on the show. Yes. And yeah. and That's I was exactly never, right. I never really liked it as a game because I, I never oh, really. Damn. Oh. I never really understood the strategy for it, so I just kind of, hey, okay, you run around God. and eat pellets and I would die a lot and I just I didn't like it and then when I started yeah. playing it more you start to appreciate <laughs> I'm playing again yeah the tricks and also I used to get really freaked out <laughs> when the ghosts would get close and then I'd kind of panic and turn and and then I realized they don't necessarily always follow you so no. even if you just wait often you can just kind of See them. where they go and outmaneuver them, and and then it becomes a lot easier. Yeah. Um. So just just going back to that, the more you play it, the more you kind of appreciate it. You just have to get into playing it. So. Yeah. You just yeah. have to play it to get more used to it. Yeah. Uh, which is good because we're playing a bunch of Pac-Man. Yeah. Whole bunch. All the Pac-Man you can eat. 
<laughs> for all the pellets you need. Every time we go to the arcade now, you play Miss Pac Man. Oh, I love Miss Pac Man. Oh, God. Oh. I'm better at it than I have been. And once you start getting better at something, you are much you more motivated to play oh, it God. than when you know you just die continuously. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Come on. Get back here. I'm going to have to go head on. No! <laughs> Not that close. Okay. Come on. 800 XL rules says, I would never have guessed just five years ago we would have a comeback of my fave systems. The community is awesome. Oh, yeah. Agreed. <laughs> 7800 has had a huge resurgence. Yes. Um, combination of, like I, I said in the interviews, um, I guess two more interviews up since. Uh, last oh, episode. nice. Which ones? Um, they are. Exact spot. One more. <laughs> oh. oh no. Can you make the second button a reset? Rage reset. Rage reset. <laughs> Rage buttons. Oh, uh, uh CD W mm -hmm. is one where I talked most of the time, which is not good. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> commented that on the YouTube, and I was like, oh, yeah, I talked way too much. Didn't even let him, let him say anything. Hardly. You were just excited. That's I, I was. I was like, <laughs> really excited about his games and everything in general. The, the, the uh, expo. <laughs> Come on, turn. That's that's what you got to do when there's la the last three and they're going really fast, is to get into a head-on with them because you can't follow them. They're moving too fast. You can't catch up. Um, so you have to kind of follow along and then go where they are going straight and head straight for them. Make sure you don't get too close to them. There. Oh. there. No! <laughs> no! No! Stop following me! Oh, he's turning. Do they know that I'm shooting? <laughs> RC70 said he didn't find it, find it uh, too she much. James is hooked. Yeah. Oh, I watched. I didn't seem too much, but to me, I'm conversationally awkward, <laughs> so I'm sure I'm not the best judge. Yeah. Oh, it's. I mean, uh, I'm. I'm just excited when I'm when I'm talking to developers, yeah. and I want to say. You have a lot it's of like, things oh, you want to say. Oh, this is good, and this is good, and yeah. I love how this is happening, and you know, I just I just get really excited about yeah. the whole thing, which is why I do this. I was laughing. I watch. Uh, I listened to a podcast on my drive into work called Smart List, which is Will Arnett, Jason Bateman, and Sean Hayes. Yeah. And inevitably, Jason Bateman asks these questions oh, that are these massive meandering questions <laughs> that are really just him complimenting the guests in this really elab elaborate, long, and complicated question that might not even be a question by the end. Oh, and it yeah. is hilarious. Yes. Well, the whole podcast is hilarious. I highly recommend it because they oh, interview really all good. kinds of actors and famous people. God. But uh, he, I, I don't know. He, it, it, it's like it's like he, he's reading an essay. The, these yeah. questions he comes up with—they are not and I really find questions. It, <laughs> and it's like it, it, it almost redirects back to him. It's really funny. It's really, really funny. But if they're slow to fill the gaps, you have to say something. Yes, yes. that's the key. That is true. With any interview, you want to keep the conversation going, right? So. Or, or when you're asking the question, you're trying to find something that will cue them. Or you yeah. look to their face while you're asking the question yeah. and you're waiting for them to go, ah, oh, yes. Yeah. And then you let them talk about that thing. Yeah. And sometimes you don't see that spark and you just have to keep going until yeah. you find the spark or find a good question. Mm -hmm. Because a little thing, I wrote no questions for the 14 interviews. 
Yes. Because I had no time to write 14 separate Well, you didn't really have. Separate questions. You didn't know exactly who was going to be there necessarily. Not necessarily. If everyone would show up. Or what so, order or anything. Yeah, and yeah. I was already very busy trying to set this up. It's so. a lot of work, yeah. It's yeah. a lot of work. So I wrote no questions, but I knew all the games. You knew what you wanted to ask. And I knew general questions I wanted yeah. to ask. Yeah, there's 14. There are 14. Yeah. I've released five only or six five. so oh, far. Okay. I've had no time to yeah. edit them. No, no, no. You take your time with them. They don't yeah. all, all have to come out at once. So. Oh, and another thing that's kind yeah. of slowing it down. Yeah. Is okay. that I... F uh, one uh, more? You can play one more okay. while I'm explaining this terrible technical foul that I did. Um, I, f I filmed them thinking, oh, I'm going to be cool and clever. Um, for two two reasons. Um, I filmed at 24 frames per second. It's like, oh, it's going to be cinematic. Plus, I can save uh, space because I'm filming in 4K and I don't know how much space it'll take up. And then when I go to editing, I'm like, OK, I'm going to overlay some video of the games over top, you know, the games um, that we're talking about. And then I go, oh, God, I filmed it at 24 frames a second and games are 60 frames a second. Aww. And this does not work at all, especially with 2600 games. Oh no. Because 2600 games, a lot of modern ones, use Flickr. So I am trying to transpose two frames at 30 frames per second okay. down to 24, which makes a mess. <laughs> it just does not translate oh, at all. Oh no. Um, so I have to use like... Um, Phosphor die off and use uh, the emulator. And that kind of works enough, but you'll notice I, I skip on some of the uh, title screen because they turn out to be a bit messy. Yeah. Uh, we call that the listen first technique ways to reflect what they say, showing interest. Yeah. Uh, I'm enjoying them too. I like how they're bite sized, well, bigger than that, being released one at a time. A little, bit, uh, a little bit shorter than the two-hour uh, shows we do. <laughs> True. They're like 10 to 15 minutes. Well, 8 to 15 minutes, the interviews, depending on how they go. Yeah. I think that's that's perfect. That's not too long. Can't upscale to 60. Uh, that, that's true. I could. Um, it would be massive. I don't really want to do that. I'd rather keep it at 24 and try and massage the, the footage. Because 24 to 60, you just duplicate frames, and that's, that's fine. That's a lot better, in this case, at least. <laughs> like, any time you're going from 30 to 24, you have to cut out frames. 24 to 30, you have to duplicate frames. But anyway, that's a lot of tech talk. Um, because the final video can only be at one frame per second. Um, on YouTube, yes. If there was some way to do variable frame rate on YouTube, yeah. TV shows and movies do not are not variable frame rate. I've never even considered thinking about that. Video games are variable frame rate. Are they? New video games, yes. Well, because new TVs are variable frame rate. Oh. Like the one that we have and, and modern um, TVs, some of the more, just more expensive ones, they it's like, oh, this game is going at 60 frames a second, 65. I'll just display exactly 65 frames per second. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. You're dead. Done. Awesome, awesome, awesome yeah. game. I love these types of games. Oh, so good. And I, yeah. I wanted to play it as soon as possible. So I'm like, uh, okay, we'll do another 7800 night because <laughs> we just did one, right? And I was like, oh, I think I can uh, put together some more games. Excellent. And there's a whole backlog of Pac-Man Plus games Ooh. that we haven't played. Excellent. So I was able to find two more that we haven't played. Oh, excellent. excellent. Which is what we're going to go to now. We're going to go to the Pac-Man collection. Mm -hmm. 40th anniversary edition, which was mm -hmm. just released at PRGE. I don't have the cards or the boxes. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get them all together. Out of, off the ROM, then? Off the ROM. Okay. Yep. Oh, thank you for making it, Carl. Yeah, I'm very excited to see you. the progression of it, I like it as you move along and add in more ideas. I mean, it's a fully functional, awesome game as it is. Yeah. So anything beyond this is just going to be better. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you can download uh, Carl's game in the Atari Age forums. It is called... 
Cartesian Chaos, Excellent. which it is. That's a very apt name. It should be Carl Jesian Chaos. Carl Jesian <laughs> Chaos. That works as well. Uh, okay. So this is uh, this game was first posted March twenty third, twenty twenty. This version of okay. it. Um, it is actually an update um, from uh, an older version of the game. Mm -hmm. Uh, but he wanted to update it to work on the XM module. Okay. Now, the XM module does not exist, but it was still being worked on, or in it was uh, there was plans for it uh, when he started working on this. And let's uh, take a look at what the XM module is. Hmm. This website's a little bit squished to the side. So it stands for the... Um, 7800 expansion module and it's kind of an add-on that you would put on your 7800 and it would contain uh, sound chips, extra RAM and uh, non-volatile RAM as well to okay. store your high scores. Mm. So it's kind of like what we have now in the Dragonfly cart mm -hmm. plus the um, the uh, voice module, the save key. That's what it is. It has two names. Um, the Atari Vox slash save key. So it would have done both of those and just fit on top of it. But the bonus, like, uh, uh, let's go through it. It would have had 128K more of RAM. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do just more things. You just have extra RAM. Mm -hmm. uh, expansion ports, which had no purpose at the time, but you can use them. An SIO port and a 15-pin expansion port. The SIO port exists on the 8-bit machines. So I don't know if it would have been able to read those directly. If it, That would be amazing. Um, so it can load off of other devices. Gotcha. Um, and a 15-pin expansion port for who knows what. It says these are intended for add-on projects such as keyboards, storage devices, but have no specific purpose. Um, and it would also have a Pokey chip and a Yamaha uh, audio chip. Mm. So the Dragonfly has the Pokey chip and the Yamaha chip. Same with the 7800 game drive and same with the Concerto as we talked about last episode in the news where he is planning to do uh, emulation of the Yamaha chip and it already has a Pokey chip slot slash Hokey chip. Um, but uh, Kurt the person who was working on it, Kurt Vendell, passed away mm. uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, it unfortunately never came to be. I think there's still some people wanting to resurrect it and keep that going. And it's a great cost-saving measure because then you don't have to put the Pokey chip in every cartridge, gotcha. the Yamaha chip in every cartridge, extra RAM in every cartridge, plus you get the SIO port. Mm. Which So that that's a huge, huge boon. Uh, if that if ever that comes to be, and it does look really nice, he said. Uh, S. Ramirez says it looks nice because it mm -hmm. fits the theme exactly. Mm -hmm. So it would kind of just be another bulge on top, and it wouldn't cover the the pause and the reset, and yeah. the power. Um, uh, yeah, it would look awesome. Mm -hmm. um, but unfortunately, that never came to be. Yeah. But the Yamaha chip is now being supported either on cartridges or on the Dragonfly nice. as well. So he kind of switched over to that. And now the game, um, the Pac-Man collection, is now supported on Dragonfly nice. and is now out, out on cartridge. Excellent. Um, <clears throat> Kurt had just sent us the developer's first pre-release version of this when he passed away. Oh, oh so that's really sad. Really close. But Pac-Man Plus says uh, when he first posted um, the Pac-Man collection um, for the 40th anniversary, I wanted to I want to get used to the XM more specifically the Yamaha. So I've teamed up with TEP392 to do this. Figured it'd be easy to take something I already know and add the parts that I haven't worked on before as my first XM game. Having that said that, this will work without the XM. It will just use the TIA sounds and a localized high score that will be lost when you turn the machine off. Mm. Um, so the Pac-Man collection was re originally released in 2006, and that's why he said he wanted to work on something familiar and update it with new sounds. Um, so there were eight games, 
and they included a plus version that altered the game in a fast mode. Oh, cool. And you like the fast mode in the arcade. I do like fast mode in the arcade, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so in this, it, it has pa Miss Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man Plus, Miss Pac-Man Plus Arcade, Miss Pack Attack, Miss Random Maze, Miss Random Plus, Pac-Man, New Puck X, Hangly Man, Ultra Pac-Man, Pac-Man Random Maze, Pac-Man Plus, New Puck X Plus, Hangly Man Plus, Ultra Pac-Man Plus, and Random Plus. Wow. Yeah, the fast modes are super fun. Yeah. Like, really, really fun. Yeah. Yeah, the 1942 has the Yamaha mm. as well. Uh, okay, well, let's load it up. Everybody knows what Pac-Man is. I don't think I have any videos to show. Uh, no, not for this. Because everybody knows what it looks like. Okay, so let's load it up. So, there is... What is happening here? Pac-Man's Pac-Man. So many Pac-Men. <laughs> Pac-Man seems more appropriate. Pac-Man. Tell Sony Mao is saying oh. so many Pac-Man's Pac-Men. Rather than Pac-Man. Yeah. <clears throat> Pac what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Pac what? You can tell he kind of likes Pac-Man by his name. Especially Pac-Man Plus. Mm -hmm. So, Pac-Man Collection Yamaha Sound. So if you see that Yamaha sound when you boot up... You that have means, a Yamaha chip. It means you have a Yamaha chip. Excellent. If you don't see it, that means you're going to get TIA sounds. Oh. Uh, my wife, I, wife and I spent this past Sunday playing Pac-Man 40th. Nice. nice. Okay, so if you go back to the menu... Uh, so you can do one or two players. And you can scroll through the 16 games. Wow. <laughs> And you can go to, let's go to the first one. All the way back, all the way back. Miss Pac-Man, you okay. know that one. Yep. You can select what level gotcha. you start on. So if you're like, oh, I want to start on the higher level to practice at yep. and not Fair have enough. to go through. No, no. Speed up. So you probably want to play the speed up. I version. like both, but I will play speed up, yes. Um, so before you start, there are some other options. Mm -hmm. Um, three or five starting lives. We'll give you five. How do we how or maybe do, we do three. that? It's not in the menu. It's actually in this. Oh. Um, so press, press start. So three. Actually, we'll play it on three so we can get through them. Okay. You're oh, fast oh, mode. oh, yeah. <laughs> Turbo mode. Um, and I will talk about all the different information about it. Going fast enough. Yeah. I've not tried this with the Yamaha yet, which is a testament to how good the TIA sounds that I forget. The TIA sounds are really good on this. I mean, the Yamaha sounds are better. Uh, the... hi, oh, fast. you got it just in time. Oh, gotta get them all. So, uh, I asked uh, Bob about the differences um, between the original that he released in uh, 2006, 2006 and this new version um, because in the forums it's like 20 pages long and I'm like, oh my god, I, I can't wait for this. <laughs> hey, extra life. Do it. Um, so in the 40th upgraded TIA audio uh, and the addition of Yamaha sound for people who have the XM slash Dragonfly. Uh, the two out, the 2006 version had bad, he says, TIA sound or better pokey sound. Oh, the 2006 had pokey in it. Interesting. So this doesn't have pokey, and it's been completely replaced by Yamaha. Can you confirm that, Bob? Uh, we will be looking at Asteroids VE as well. I am so uninformed. What is a dragonfly? It is a multi-cart, multi-SD cart that we're playing the game on. Um, it has um, dual pokey, I believe, dual pokey chip and a Yamaha chip. Um, what is going on? No problem. Just can't control things. Oh, well, it's very fast. Whoa, ah, no. run! Ah, okay. Power, power stance here. That's right. Dual pokey, yes. <laughs> Um, it is really, really cool. Very, very compatible. Plays Ooh. anything you throw at it. Um, 
It can also power on your 7800, be powered by the 70. The, your 7800 can be powered by it, really? and it can turn it on when you turn on the game. And it can turn off the game when you switch games. I don't use it like that, but um, uh, it can do that. Oh, Pac-Man. <laughs> Jake, did you ask me a question? I couldn't hear you. Yes, I did. Um, it said in the notes that you passed me that the 2006 version had pokey sound. And this new version does not have pokey sound? Is that is that correct in what I'm assuming? Um, and if, I'm not sure if you have the sound off, but if somebody could type that for him, if he has the sound off. Um, the graphics rip directly from the arcade games with only alterations made for the lack of colors. Oh, that is correct. So this, this has Yamaha sound. I mean, if you're buying it on cartridge, it won't matter much because you'll get what you get. You get the sound. Um, oh, oh, you're very fast. You can outrun them. Fast is good and bad, right? It is good. It's very hard to control sometimes. Because it's really fast. I believe it's four <sighs> times as fast. I know. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's just so... Oh, but, like, turning is a real problem, I find. Oh, uh, I, I just can't c turn very well. So this has 320B mode oh, versus the 120A mode. Higher resolution, closer matching that of the arcade aspect <laughs> ratio. Oh, the gameplay sound is loud. Oh. Yeah, that's another issue, is that um, every every game is a little bit different volume. Yeah. I try and compress it, but it doesn't always agree. Hidden Popeye Pac-Man player graphics. With the ability to use those uh, player graphics for any game, hold down on player one joystick while starting a game. So we'll get back to that. Hidden heart-shaped dot graphics with any ability to use those dot graphics for any game. Hold up for player one joystick while starting a game. We'll get back to that as well. Um, Rendered Ghost says, Turbo, Miss Pac-Man, and I have a history. <laughs> when I was in college, the peach joined in town had a sit-down turbo table. So many quarters. This brings joy. Nostalgic joy. Oh, yeah. So good. And uh, this preserves, I believe, the pixel perfect ratio because he has a scrolling version. He does. Version. Nice. Um, he also just released, not too long ago, a version of the game that fits it all on one screen. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't scroll at all. So, so what's Miss Pac Man Plus? Is that uh, a totally separate game? It is and it isn't. It is Pac Man. Okay. Miss Pac Man. Okay. Um, okay, here it is. The maze is green instead of blue. Okay. Just ignore the colors because he had to make concessions for colors. Uh, eating a power pellet can sometimes only turn three of the ghosts blue instead of four. Uh, in later rounds, it can cause the maze to become invisible by eating the power pellets. Vulnerable ghosts are now smaller in size and have leaves sticking out of their heads. <laughs> um, they also use... Are also, uh, they also use their hard vulnerable times instead of their normal vulnerable times, meaning they'll change back to normal at wildly different times. Like this very terrifying yeah. Oh right. my goodness. You went right for it. I, I tried to turn around, but it didn't. Uh, most of the fruit it's graphics kind of are changed, and the ghost graphics are slightly altered, as well as their eyes being closer together. Uh, when a fruit is eaten, the ghost will become vulnerable as if a power pellet was eaten, but will turn invisible until they begin to flash white. Vulnerable ghosts turn blue through eating fruit using the normal duration times from the original Pac-Man have their points values doubled. So you, when you get the fruit, the fruit, yeah, uh, it's a Coke can in this one, um, they're also vulnerable. You can eat them. Yeah, I noticed that. But they're invisible. <laughs> so until they're just about turning back. So they're kind of vulnerable, and you might mm. accidentally run into them. But it does make it a little bit easier when you get the fruit. Oh my god, so short. <laughs> you turned off turbo? Yeah. Oh, There's yeah. like, he, I'm moving so slow now, oh my gosh. You have to know the tricks to get the ghosts in this version, because in this higher level. Is that a cocktail? Oh. Interesting. What was that? There's a cocktail going down the sky. Oh, that was the second level. Yeah. Um, so go to the third game. Uh, Miss Pac-Man Plus Arcade. Okay. 
Uh, I tried to make notes on all these. It took a long time. Oh I'm my god. Speed up this time. 16 games. Uh, different, different board? Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> this may not be the best for Turbo. I'm not sure. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Where am I? Fun Plus Arcade. Uh, has altered mazes. Obviously. Oh my gosh, yeah, the altered maze is something. Where it is, is a funky maze. You have to, uh, you stop a lot. Oh my god, I can't find my notes on this. It's like pages and pages of it. They're stuck. They're stuck in a loop. Me. Oh, now three are stuck in a loop. Or at least you know where they are. That was the bootleg arcade game with those mazes. Yeah. Oh, I have notes. I know I made notes on this. It's hard to turn. Because I turn. looked up this one. Okay. Yes. Uh, a game titled Miss Pac-Man Plus was released around the same time as Pac-Man Plus. As its name implies, it's a plus version of Miss Pac-Man. Uh, the modification is most likely... Is this the right? Is this the right one? Yes. Uh, is mo it's most likely created by Midway, as their name is intact on both the title screen and marquee, but it is of no notably lesser quality in comparison to most Miss Pac-Man and Miss Pac- and Pac-Man Plus. In part due to the title's obscurity, it has never actually been verified if the game was officially produced or just a strange bootleg. Further evidence it could be an official modification is certain promotional pictures for Miss Pac-Man use screenshots from Miss Pac-Man Plus. Mm -hmm. This may also have just been a mistake, however, because we've actually seen even modern mistakes like that mm. in what was it? It was Warlords. Um, Atari is reissuing games for mm. the 50th anniversary collection, mm -hmm. and they used um, Daryl Spice Jr.'s homebrew of Medieval Mayhem as a screenshot for their Warlords game. Mm. And they pulled it very quickly, but not before somebody took a, uh, um, a, photo? a photo, a screenshot of oh. their screenshot. Oh, no. And it was... It's like they make mistakes. They just go of course. type, especially in the internet age. They type yeah. th something in, and go, yeah, that's warlords. Take a screenshot. They just get somebody else to do it, and nobody, oh, so nobody funny. looks it up. Nobody does any proofreading. And it's like, yeah, we got to get this out. We got to make an announcement. Oh, no. And it's like, oh my god. That's funny. RC seventy. Hi, I forgot about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, go to the next one. Ms. Pack attack. Yeah. Okay. Ms. Pack Attack. This is a hack of the aforementioned Ms. Pac-Man Plus, which predates Pack Attack by 12 years. Uh, features their four new mazes uh, in different order. Once again, the fruits follow the original maze patterns, which means that they sometimes cannot be eaten because they bounce around the maze. Oh. So they'll go through the walls because the fruit is following the original path of the fruit. Okay. So let's watch that cherry. Really nice. So far, so good. I don't know what's following the maze. Maybe it'll follow this maze, but not maybe. Uh, possibly. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, um. As, big, as big a money grab it is, the boxes look kind of cool to me. Yeah, the reissues of those games do look very nice. Like, the cartridges look nice, the boxes look nice. Oh, squeaked out of that one. Okay. Um, but I mean, it's the same game being sold to you with different packaging. Mm -hmm. And they're $100 each US. Can you imagine that? It's being sold the exact same game for $100. For just with new packaging. But anyway. And they make them as a set, so you have to spend 1000 US dollars to get all 10 to go on your shelf. It's crazy, crazy, crazy. I heard they did some cart releases, but most of the carts were defective. Yeah, that's another problem as well. Not a lot of QA going uh, going on over at Atari there. 
Um, they oh, sent out some hi. carts. The PCB boards were in upside down. Oh. So you put them in your car, uh, cartridge slot and it just did nothing. Oh, I was going to say it didn't short it, did it? Uh, luckily, it did not. I think somebody verified that the the pins wouldn't cause damage. Luckily, oh my god, there'd be, there'd be a lot of problems if they issued cartridges that destroyed your 2600. Which is not impossible, like, oh. flipping things around the wrong way. Because those are keyed. Like, um, but they just didn't work, mm. luckily. But they sent them for free, uh, a new version of it. As along with should. some pins and a, uh, another little trinket, which is which is good. Pac-Man Plus says, my fruit doesn't go through walls. Uh, ah, he knows you corrected how to code. it. That's yeah. right. <laughs> Uh, okay, next one is Ra Miss Random Maze. Should and, I do that one or? Uh, yeah, just briefly. So this, I think, takes them as pack attack along with other mazes and just randomly puts mazes in. I believe. Let me see if I have notes on this one. So, no, I don't. So this, this one is unique to the... Um, to this this cartridge or this game it's not found anywhere else and and along with a lot of the these variations they aren't found on any home consoles at, anywhere um only in the arcade when you see expert players playing it they lure all the ghosts oh yeah they get every fruit and every ghost on every level. Yep. They know how to play. They know how to manipulate the ghosts into well. going in a pattern and luring them right beside the dot. And they go, doot, 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 1,600 points each time. And I mean, that's how you get the perfect no, score the scores, right? of yeah. whatever it is, 3,333,000. It actually randomly generates the wall. Oh, wow. That is awesome. So literally every time you play it, it's a random maze. So you don't know what you're getting, so it's infinite replay value. That's cool. And uh, I'm guessing it uses a maze generator that doesn't... Is there any dead ends in this? Like, places where there's only one way out and it's back? Do you see those those eyeballs? <laughs> they were Which just one? running around in circles. They weren't what? getting back to the middle. Oh, they got lost. Yeah, they got lost. Oh, I let's see if you can do that again. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, those made it. Those made it. I don't know why I didn't make this. I missed it. Struggling there. He might have eventually made it. Back. Oh no, he's struggling Such again. Trouble here. Oh, it's it's this thing. Uh huh. No, it is. I, I find time. this loose young, 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 compared young. to um, time some cats. other arcade sticks. Because it's, it's an eight-way joystick. I know. It is. What was no, that? You don't okay, like eight, so you can play joysticks. the next one. Yep. I want to feed the kittens, but I, I want to bring down the, the camera. Oh, yeah. oh, hey, oh, Ground God. Trooper. Thank you. Thank you for resubscribing, Ground Trooper. I want to show off the kittens. Okay, do you want me to just place it on the ground? Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, put it on the chair? I'll, I'll, I'll hold on to it. You want to see the cats up front? Hold up on. close. Up front. Oh, close. don't move it too much. Hold on, give me don't a second. Don't drop it. It's going to drop. Poopy okay. tail fills the cat cam. Yep. And that's random plus, so it changes the... Um, oh. Like all the plus versions do exactly the same, but with the base. What's reflecting? Oh, it's us. Oh, isn't that funny? <laughs> Our Hi. legs. Who? So... Yeah, don't yeah, move it too much. I think you will have to hold that. I'll put it on the chair. Yeah. You want to see them? Hey, no, don't eat out of my hand. One for you. <laughs> One for you. I'm trying uh, to give you a different uh, perspective here. There. They're running off. Here. I, I just wanted to see their cute, cute faces. There we go. There we go. Okay. Uh, let's play the Pac-Man. Hit, hit the button. Hit the bell. With the music. Hit the bell. Fluffy cat. Oh, good kitty. Oh, it's so fast. Oh, it's fast. Hit the bell. 
and um, also has the uh, the corners, the corner as well in this game. I noticed. I never even knew that that was a thing. Pac-Man. What was that noise? Oh, good enough. Did you make a noise? Yeah, you did. Too loud, says Batoko. The game? Or the cats. <laughs> the cats are too loud? Oh, it is very loud. Sorry. Yeah, each... Oh, it's so loud. Is it? Yeah. Each game is so different, the volumes. Good kitty. There you go. Come on, ghosties. Go, kitten. Switch cameras. No, oh, I looked away. Yeah, the scroll you don't really care about too much. I'm, I'm guessing there's some tactics where you might need to know where the ghosts are up above, but to manipulate them. But I'm not, I'm not a Pac-Man expert, so I wouldn't know that. Try again. Go up here first. Good kitty, there you go. I'm doing. Set my oh, I'll set myself up for failure. <laughs> Let's try this one, he says. Oh, he turned around. <laughs> Sorry, you're watching what well, you're watching the game in the tiny screen. <laughs> it's very tiny. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Very tiny. There you go. The cats are playing their game right But I used to not even have the game. In the, on the screen when it was cat feeding time. Yeah. And now we can feed them during the game. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Service, please. Oh, a lot of treats. Oh, Very lucky deserving. cats. They're Do they? Cute. They're cute. Yeah. They're gorgeous. You should give them treats on merit, not on looks. They, they hit the bell. There's a little bit of merit there. <laughs> yes, good kitten. Good kitty. Oh, I'm gonna die. Okay, one more. Who gets oh, the last go. one? Everyone, please. There you oh, go. Good kitty. Okay. Let's flip that go for now. Do people think it's mean that only one cat gets the last one? Or should we always oh, give them two? No, they get to plenty. <laughs> they get plenty. They get plenty. Okay, so that was Pac Man. Obviously yep. awesome. So you continue on with New yeah. Pac X so I can. Uh, are you going to move it back? Um, no. That's pretty cute. It is pretty cute. Get it up close. <laughs> I'm doing New Puck X, or are you just playing? New Puck X. Okay. So New Puck X is a hack of Puckman, which is the original name of, okay. of Pac-Man. Uh, the name of this hack is a play on one of other Namco's arcade games that was popular in Japan known as New Rally X. Uh, New Puck X contains a fairly altered maze. It is. Uh, bumps have been added to the center rows that were once wide open, so you can't just keep going. You have to kind of navigate around. Interesting. Uh, holes have been added to various portions of the maze that were once solid, so there's like a bunch more side um, side escape routes. Thank goodness. And do they still go slowly through all of the side escape routes? Or maybe they don't even go through them. Hmm. Uh, there are two extra sets of tunnels, uh, one each above and below the original tunnel. Meanwhile, greater access has been given to the center tunnel, so you can be ambushed by ghosts before you even reach the tunnel at all. During the attract mode, the ghosts are introduced by their American names and nicknames. You can see the sense of fairness in the cat's eyes when one gets more than the other. Yes, you can. They're like, they look at the other cat. They're like, mm. oh, they're gone. They, no, they're in the hallway. They're, they're like, in the hallway. Yeah, we're, we're done. Bye. Getting over those humps are really hard. <laughs> they slow you down. You have to move through a lot of quick moves. It's huh? very hard when you're fast, actually. Uh, new Puck X also changes the point values of certain elements. The monsters. Yes, they are monsters. That's what they are, I believe, originally referred as. They were monsters. Because were they? there are some cutscenes where their clothes come off. Yeah. Where they get hung up on a nail. What? And the sheet that they're that's over them comes off. And they're monsters and underneath. And they're monsters underneath. Oh. Yes. 
Okay, so go to the next one. That was one. terrible, but anyway. That was. Hangly Man. Hangly Man. Go for it. Uh, also known as Scandal or Puck Man is a maze arcade name, uh, game developed by Nitto and released in 1981. It is a hack of Pac-Man that changes the overall layout of the maze. The game's title is like likely a mistranslation of Hungry Man from Japanese. Uh, the major difference from the original Pac-Man is the first two boards and every even number board that are slightly altered versions of the original maze. That is quite different. Uh, the third board and every odd numbered board after that are not mazes at all. They contain only the ghost house and the board's boundary outline and the pills arranged in straight vertical and horizontal lines. Well, you have to make it to that. What level? Uh, let's see. The third board. So you have to just make it to the third one so we can see where there's like no maze at all. It's just a bunch of dots. These boards are horrible. Well, you're very fast. Too fast. Go on. You can do it. Yay. Whew. Though I'm not playing it myself, the speed seems nice. It, it feels nice. like a lot of old games slowed down things far too much for the general player. It's a nice, fast speed. Yeah, there was a lot of hacks made for, like, unofficial hacks made for um, arcade games. Even official kind of hacks, where they would update the arcade game with new ROMs, uh, where it would make it the game harder. Oh my god. Or different. Oh, I find the controls really hard it's too sometimes. Fast. It's yeah. really fast. Those traffic circles look as annoying as traffic, real traffic circles. Yeah, exactly. Oh gosh. There's a lot of tight turns in this one. And open areas. Yeah, the open areas are kind of unusual. Uh, on those levels, in addition to the horizontal sideways left-right escape patches, there's also a vertical one connecting the top and the bottom of the screen. Straight on the dots, you're almost at the third level. Yay, we get to see the third level. Woo! And you said there's nothing? Oh, that scene first. It's Super Pac-Man. Oh boy, open. Can you go anywhere? Oh, you can. <laughs> Do they have to stick to the... Looks like they're sticking to the maze. Oh my god. It's like impossible to get them. Because <laughs> they stick to their maze, but you can go anywhere you want. Which makes it hard to eat the dots and hard to eat the ghosts. <laughs> but you can literally avoid them then if you're off the path I'm guessing if that's Ooh, a top bottle bottom tunnel oh yeah there's the top top tunnel go through the top one what top bottom top tunnel good luck <laughs> it oh is hard God. Oof, oof. Ah. <laughs> but you can lead them all up to the top and then just zip by them and go eat the bottom ones. Or do that, actually. Ah! <laughs> Where the hell am I? <laughs> it's this the ones is... in the middle that are, like, super hard to do. Ones that aren't up against the walls? Yeah. No, get it, get it, get it. Oh. Wow. That's <laughs> very different. <sighs> Oh, Pac-Man Plus says, if you go through the bottom tunnel and immediately hold right, you will stop, and the monsters can't get you, just like the arcade. Oh, wow. Um, I was just about to read that. That's funny. Oh, how am I not dead? <laughs> what happened? I thought I was going to die, and then it, the game just kept going because someone turned away. Oh, lucky. Oh, I do they not like the these traffic circles. Oh, they're terrible. <laughs> That's a really cool level. Yeah. Am I dead? Oh, not dead. No, two more levels. Racked up a bunch on this one. So because of the... Um, the graphics mode that he chose, the high resolution graphics, there was a lot of discussion about um, colors in the, the forum 
um, post in this. But in the end, um, it turned out really nicely, like mm -hmm. the colors. Mm -hmm. Some of them aren't, oh, another recommended one. Some of the ghosts are a little bit off. Pac-Man's maybe a little. Ah! The ghosts are pretty good. Maybe the maze colors are a little off. Yeah. The top works too, but it's harder to do on the top. So try and get trapped in the, in the pass-through. In the pass-through? Yeah, go up through it and then press left or right immediately. No. No, too hard? That's pretty hard. <laughs> it's very fast to go through it. Get that apple. Oh. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> Trying to chase the ghosts because they're like... Even the pellets. You have to be on like... the same plane as them, right? Yeah, even the pellets are brutal. I don't have much time. Can we get them all? Maybe. Down. Yeah. And one more. Oh, too hard. Oh, oh. Don't. It's like oh, chaotic. you know what this reminds me of? Crystal Castles. Yeah. Because Crystal Castles is like Pac-Man, but on an open field, and you have to get all these dots, and you're just like moving around. No, 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 no. Okay. Ultra Pac-Man. Nice. I made a ton of notes, and I'm gonna read them. So, Ultra Pac-Man is part of the Super ABC kit manufactured by Two Bit Score in 1999. Can you imagine somebody still making upgrade chip? for um, Pac-Man games in 1999. A faster, harder, more challenging Pac-Man. Multiple mazes will challenge even the greatest of Pac-Man wizards. A special fruit, which rarely appears, awards the player with a free credit. Free credit. Which doesn't matter in this game, but in the arcade, yes. So is the, um, Bob, is the uh, special fruit in this game? From, from Super Pac-Man? Ultra Pac-Man? Not Super Pac-Man. That's an entirely different game. Oh, it's so loud again. Dead. It keeps creeping up. Dead? Dead. Not dead, dead. Um, I think we've gone through all of them. You can just die. Me? If you want. Okay. There, are there any more to go through? Uh, that's what we're gonna find out. There's some options that we want to look at. Okay. <laughs> Get that strawberry. Yum, 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 yum. There we go. Okay. Uh, the special fruit is not in this game, as it gives you a free game. So I thought it was kind of pointless here. Yeah. yeah, I can understand that. It's like, yeah, you get literally nothing. <laughs> Too fast to die. Too fast to die. Okay. Okay. Press button. Let's see. Ultra Pac Man random maze. Wait, what? What? I thought you were done. Pac random maze. Yeah, so that just is a random maze with like gen generated with Pac Man. Okay. Uh, and then all the pluses are. are um, mm -hmm. <laughs> all the pluses are the plus versions of the ones we've played. Got it. So it looks like we've done all of them. Okay. Um, okay, Pac-Man Plus in, posted in the forums, and when we said we were going to play the game, it would be cool if you both played the two-player variation of uh, Pac-Man Collection 40th, where your opponent controls Blinky. Oh! Chase mode only. Nice. Not all the time, only chase mode. Uh, I've never been able to play that variation, nor able to watch anyone else do it. What? That is why a lot of people like a lot of developers like watching our show because there's always two, two people, people and we can yep. always play their two player games. Yep. Um so in two player games set the right difficulty switch to the right. Okay. Okay, done. And I've got the second player joystick gotcha. here. Um and control it when he's in chase mode, not blue, or when the ch monsters are heading to their respective corners. Setting the switch to the left or not touching joystick defaults Blinky to controlled by the computer. So pick your favorite version of the game. Okay, let's just go with uh, Miss Pac-Man. Okay. <laughs> or you could do Miss Pac-Man random maze. Oh sure. It is random maze. Yeah. Okay. Speed. Two. Nope, no, nope, no, nope, just one. Just one? Yep, I'll be playing as a ghost. Normal or speed up? That's up to you. Yeah, I can do speed up. You want to 
You want to be the ghost, or...? I'll be the ghost. So, so you... I'm controlling the red ghost. Gotcha. Remember, you have to lead Blinky just before he turns. Oh, yeah, okay. You're just leading him. Am I... Is this working? Oh, I can't see. I can't do it right now. It has to be two players. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's what I said. Well, that's not a given. No, I just assumed. Okay. Okay. So... Does the other person switch then? Oh, is that working? It's not working. Not working! Am I not plugged into the right? Yeah, I am. It's on the right. Hmm. Down? Nope, oh, well, we Sorry. switched it. It's okay. You just play how you play. So I'm holding. I'm just gonna hold to the right. Stop it! Oh, I can't see the red. I'm gonna hold down because it's at the top. Actually, down is probably a better way to do it. No, nope, it's not going down. Oh. Okay, you try and control the red guy. Me? Yes. You have to lead. Lead him. So you have to hold. No. Nope. No, it's not working. Oh my god. I gotcha. You didn't get any. I, I pushed left and he went left. Can you push down? How does it work? You're playing now. Me? You're Miss Pac Man. Oh. We're playing two players. Surprise I didn't die. Can I not hold the joystick in the direction that I want him to go? Or do I have to, like, constantly press down? Only in chase mode. So after they go to oh, their when respective it's blue? corners... I'm confused. We're all confused here. Chase mode. Yeah, I'm not sure what chase mode means. So only in very, very, very specific times. I am not up on the nomenclature of Pac-Man. Oh. So he has to go to a corner first, and then he's in chase mode. Oh. Kids. I'm gonna blame you. And what corner does Blinky have to go to? Hold the joystick. The first seven seconds of each board in Miss Pac-Man are scatter mode. So the first uh, seven seconds you can't control it. But I mm. I was playing it for a lot longer than seven seconds. And it just it never moved in the direction I wanted it to. Yeah. Maybe I have it in the opposite. Maybe I have it the wrong way? I mean, I have it held to the right, uh, and it's the right one? My, my stupid? Right difficulty switch to the right. Yep. Okay. It is. Oh, you're still playing. Yeah, I cleared the board. Oh, I see, I see. No. No, it doesn't work. Can I run away for a second? And play my game. Uh, okay. I'll be right back. Sorry. Ah. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, well, um, can't seem to do it. Let me switch the, uh, switch it. Let's see what happens. One second. Two. Three, four, five, six. Now it, it looks like it's to the right. Nope. Still not working. 
So I am not sure what's going on. It maybe my right difficulty switch is broken. I haven't had any problems with it so far. So I am not sure what's going on with the cha cha with the controlling of of um of Blinky, unfortunately. Leaving just when we're trying to do two-player things. Yep. Typical. Typical. So I, I cannot play it by myself. So let's try the other thing that Bob asked. Or Bob told me about. Which is... Actually, it's two things. The Popeye Pac-Man. Nice four coast combo. Um, Popeye Pac-Man player graphics. So hold down on joystick one while starting a game. Okay, so let's do that. Hold down. Uh, actually, I can do it right from here. Let's go back to player one. Let's do Pac-Man random maze. So hold down with start. So this should change the graphics to, oh my god, to Pac-Man, to Popeye. Silly. Popeye? <laughs> Silliness. That's oh, awesome. he does go vertical as well. Changes his, uh, his direction. His direction. Hi, black kitten. Did you eat enough treats today? More than enough. Two Did rounds of enough? treats already. Oh, smack, smack, smack. He got mad at me. Meow. That is awesome. <laughs> I love it. Bit of silliness. It is so good. His mouth moving too. That's awesome. <laughs> awesome, he's, awesome. He's awesome. eating the pellets. No, 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 no. Pop pack. Yes. Pop pack. Is there a can of spinach that? Um, oh, that would have been good. Floats across the screen. That would have been a good addition. Or the, yeah, the power pellets could be spinach, or all the all the fruit could be spinach. All the fruit. Every level yeah. is just spinach. Just spinach. <laughs> Looking a bit jaundiced or scurvied or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't uh, bring uh, yeah. fruit on his voyage. He didn't bring any uh, lemon. Lemon. Cool. And let's check out. Nice. As was the hearts for dots. Yeah. Let's check out the hearts. In my head. The 2600 oh, Popeye spinach this, music instead of Pac-Man sounds. Play this on Valentine's <gasps> Day. Oh, yes! Valentine's theme! I'll have to remember this one yes, for February. Yes, yes. This is the heart variation. Yep. So cute. Mm -hmm. Love it. Oh, God. Dead. Oh, yeah, it's right. like he's ah, uh, he's a blue. He's what is he? Inky. 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 I can never remember the names of them. Inky. Blinky. Clyde. Clyde. <laughs> Someone else. Stinky. Stinky. <laughs> I always think of Stinky. <laughs> I was thinking Stinky too. That's just the cats. That's just the cats. Yeah. Stinky cats. Stinkies. Oh. So, if you want a definitive Pac-Man for the 7800, yeah. this is absolutely amazing. Oh, it's so good. And one more thing to show you guys. Yeah. Um, oh, where is it? For the Pac-Man. Did I put it on here? Yes. So this is the version that he released recently on the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want scrolling oh. vertically, oh wow! He made a version recently that it fits all on the same screen. Wonderful. So if you're not a fan of the scrolling, I didn't mind it at all. I didn't mind it either. Get here! Get over here! Mom. I love the cool leaf. Hand. Get the cool! Get it! Get a good. Nice. Oh, got one. Where's the more? More. Oh, got one. Oh, there's another one. 
Ooh, wow, wow, I got all four? No, you had one. 16. You had three. You oh, had maybe three. they just give you more. Yeah, that's yeah. pretty good. One of them came out of the... Uh... Ooh, only three turned. The Pac-Man box. Oh, oh we got backup. Ooh, oh, where is he? Come here. There. <laughs> oh, another one. Oh, they're down there. Yeah. So cute. Super cute. Wonderful. It's a really nice variation. Bob, is this on the um, cartridge, or is this just like a bonus release? Um, the uh, one that fits on the screen. I'm guessing it's just an extra bonus version that you made recently. They're double points when invisible. That's why. Nice. Because they're <gasps> impossible to find. Am I going to get it? Get it. Get it. Super awesome. I don't know anything about 7800 program, but this looks clever somehow. Yes. Is there some fancy <laughs> programming? Uh, bonus release. Nice. nice. So if you want this version, you can download it in the Atari Age forums. Um, and in a couple weeks, you should be able to order the Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary Edition that we're playing right now. Not this one, but the was last one. Was it sold at PRG? Yes, nice. it was. Yes, yes, yes. I believe so. Uh, okay. Okay. Lots and lots and lots and lots of fun. If you like Pac-Man, <laughs> you you'll, really should have this game. Yeah, you'll get your fill. Oh, that's yeah. for sure. If you get this one. Hey, Fluffy Tail. And we're on to our last game, which is... Come here, Fluffy Tail. So many notes, I had to make a separate note file. Asteroids Deluxe. Now, if mm -hmm. you have... Everybody knows Asteroids, but probably... I don't know if a lot of people know what Asteroids Deluxe is. I, it was a separate arcade game. Okay. I didn't really know that till I was doing this research for mm. today. Um, so let's take a look at Asteroids Deluxe. Uh, what it looked like in the arcade. Let me change the graphic as well. Oh, that's not the right one. Mm. There we go. Let's get to the gameplay. So it looks like asteroids, right? Um, but there is more to it. Because this, right <laughs> this looks just like asteroids. It does look like asteroids. Oh no! Oh, no it is. Okay, see those little those things coming after you? Yeah. Those were not in asteroids. Oh, that that chase you? Yeah, that break apart. They they come on the screen oh, no. in a circle and they break apart and chase you. It feels very Bosconian kind of. Oh, yeah, like, a little like bit like the in that spy way. ships are coming yeah. for you. Uh, is a vector graphic multi-directional shooter released in arcades in April 1981 by Atari. I don't know why it says 1980 at the bottom. Um, like the original Asteroids, the objective is to score points by destroying asteroids and flying saucers. The player controls a ship, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the game also includes the Killer Satellite, a cluster of ships that break apart and chase the player's ship when hit. Objects wrap from each end of the screen to the opposite edge, blah, blah, blah. In addition to the shield feature, oh, there's a shield, because uh, the original Asteroids was just a... Shooting on was a warp. Uh, a random oh, teleport. Yes, yes. So this one has a shield. Uh, the most significant change in this version is that the flying saucers can now target the player ship across the screen boundary, mm -hmm. meaning that if the saucer is close to the left edge and the player is at the right edge, the saucer may shoot towards the left edge and across the boundary to hit the player. In asteroids, the saucer could only fire uh, directly at the player's uh, location on the screen without considering the boundary, which led to the popular lurking exploit that enabled players to play for very long periods of time on a single credit. Mm -hmm. This updated strategy was in direct response to that exploit. There we go. Um, so next we're gonna, we're actually going to take a look at the original Asteroids for the 7800, because this was obviously released for the 7800, the original Asteroids. There we go. Hello, Andrew Davey. Hey, Andrew Davey. And here we go. Yes, what James said. 
<laughs> what did I say? Oh, that, those. Yeah. yeah. So this is the original Asteroids that you could buy Okay. when the 7800 7, came out. 84? Mm, yeah, not 84. But no? It was, de- it was delayed a long time. Oh, I the, see. The 7800. Okay. So uh, play it for a second. So you can see that it's not vector-based. They made uh, the planets... I'm terrible at Asteroids. I'm not good with thrust-based games. <laughs> Just putting that out there right don't, now. Don't let Thomas Yench hear that. Sorry, Thomas. <laughs> um, so they made they made everything solid color, S- solid and not wireframe, no vector, because obviously it's not a vector game. Um, so they they you know up to the graphics a bit. Yeah, space meatballs. <laughs> I lurk on the original. Can roll the score about every twenty minutes. Wow. Oh ah. Wow. You just know the how The secret to, to thrust-based games is to not thrust. That's what it's I do It's so this. true, it's so true. Unless I'm in trouble, I just stick in the middle. Because you can... You can shoot everything. Uh, okay. Then... Sorry. It's okay. Not great with the thrust-based games. Then the beginning games. of this... This uh, journey for Pac-Man Plus making Asteroids Deluxe... Mm-hmm. Was... Take it was taking the Asteroids game mm-hmm. that Atari released and changing it to Asteroids Vector. Mm-hmm. So start it up. This is in 2005. So what he did is change the Asteroids to more more vector based. Still, Still color. the same game, but yeah. Still the same game. All, all exactly the same. This was in 2005. He said, I tried to make the rocks and... This is from July 23rd, 2005. I tried to make the rocks and UFOs look more like the arcade. I was also able to remove the stars in the background. Having trouble finding the color, though, so I guess it would be the Color Vector Edition. So he was trying to change it at that point to um, black and white version. Green meatballs? I'm going to a different restaurant. <laughs> Yes, yes, we're looking at asteroids for the 7800 right now. Um, okay, so let's go to now okay. uh, the actual released version of the game. This is Asteroids Deluxe for the 7800. This was uh, released in um, 2007? Oh, very loud. The, ar- ah, the irony being, uh... <laughs> it's all green. Crash! Deluxe! Ah. Tail fins and everything. Oh yeah, very wireframe. Um, so in the Atari Age story, it describes it like this. Robert De, De Crescenzo brings another classic Atari arcade game to the Atari 7800, Asteroids Deluxe. If you're a fan of the original arcade game Asteroids, or its sequel, Asteroids Deluxe, you'll want to grab your joystick and start blasting. Asteroids Deluxe brings new graphics and gameplay elements into play, such as Killer Satellite, uh, that when shot, breaks into smaller pieces that take direct aim for your ship. So I haven't seen that uh, Yes, I did. You oh, missed it. You just uh, weren't paying attention. Well, you reading. were reading I was off reading. Your phone. That's great. <sighs> Being so rude, reading off my phone. I know. <laughs> There are also two new game variations. Competition Asteroids, where you compete against another player for points. Oh, no. And your shots <laughs> destroy other players. Oh. Friendly fire. Not so friendly. And Team Asteroids, where you and other players share reserve ships, and you don't have to worry about friendly fire. So that's fine. Asteroids Deluxe for the 7800 is an extensively modified version of the original Ast- Atari 7800 game Asteroids. So this is technically a hack. It's a very, very uh, thorough hack of the game that adds in totally new elements to the game that were not there before and completely changes the look. Ooh, I get out of that corner. Yep, agree. Oh, remember there's a shield. Press down. Oh, I always forget the shield. Oh, your hands are sore already. Yeah. So, like the original Asteroids, the objective is to score points by destroying asteroids and flying saucers. The player controls a ship that would rotate left and right, fire shots straight forward and thrust forward. One shot, light, larger asteroids break into smaller ones. Okay, this does oh. have... Oh, I have to actually move, though. Uh, continual shot, which is nice. I forgot. The other ones didn't. So, um... So he posted... 
posted a version of it in 2007, said, and Bob said, uh, just wanted to post this work in progress here to see if anybody runs into any bugs. I had started to mention it over in the 7800 forum, but being that it's just a hack, I put it here. Still a few things I need to do. Revisit the killer satellite shape and possibly refine it, update the sounds, fix some of the ones that are there, and add new ones to the killer satellite and shields. Let me know if you run into any problems. Um, and you can get back to the original vector version of this, of the game, um, by holding pause while booting up the game. So we'll have to try that after. Oh, game over. Time yeah, to play two player. Good. Oh, two player? Yep, how do we can do you play, that? Can you play around? Okay, I'll play around <laughs> first. Oh, there it is. We're going to call Ooh. this Asteroids Hand. <laughs> Novice, two players. Competition nice. play. Oh, team, team play. play. Nice. So you want me to play by myself first? Yeah, do one round because my okay. hand's a little sore. So. Let's do expert and see how okay. crazy it is. Good luck. Yeah. Good you luck. Die. Oh, my God. In this one, you don't have to wait for your bullet to be recalled. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. You can go nuts. I like it. I love how the UFO is, like, totally dumb. It crashes right into the asteroid. Yep. <laughs> Woof. That was close. Uh, uh, I think I'll wait to shoot okay. that. <laughs> Wait till there's a bit of... Oh, God! Oh, my goodness. Tiny, tiny UFO taking everything out. Yeah, that wasn't in my level. Okay, Just get far enough away from oh, them. Oh, yeah, I think I will. And give them some distance to come to you, because they're pretty easy to kill. because they, yeah, they don't shoot. Well, maybe they do an expert. Hey, MK Smith! No! Wait. There we go. Do they take sh two shots? Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are you late again, or is it really early where you are? That's right. I guess really early. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ooh, that was dangerous. Thought he was Nearly 2 p.m. Wow. Oh. So, like... Normal middle of the day. Neither late nor early. <laughs> <laughs> you must be a wizard. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh, he shot me. Oh, are they leaving? You made it they back to leave. your time zone. I'm glad to hear it. You're back, back and readjust. <laughs> back again? in his time zone, yes. Ah! Oh, they all converged on me. I'm not using the... See, I forgot about the the shield as well. Oh, the sh I always oh, forget what? about the oh, shield. Oh, it's the second button. That's what it is. Maybe I can just sit in the center and use my shield. Maybe. Oh, nope. Uh, nope. You do have to not... hit your shield, though. Oh, are you ready? No, no, no. You can do another round. Am I an expert still? I think so. We'll, we'll do uh, two-player after this. Okay. Ah! I think it's the tiny one that has pinpoint precision um, shots. So the big one seems to be just shooting at random spots. Oh! Yeah, he's random. Yeah, the little, the little, little one, one is like, really immediately precise. killed me. No! Oh my god. Good job. Barely survived. Oh, you get bounced around. Oh, that's funny. That's so funny. See, that needed to be programmed. Because there's no shield before. Is it infinite shield? Can you hold on to it? Oh, I got not. No. It's not like, um... that be too easy. Satan's Hollow, where... You oh. can see it. You can see it slowly Depleting. drain away, and you're like, like oh, oh. I'm, I'm exposed. They're all coming for me. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, no. I tried. Can you shoot? Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. That was terrible. Can you shoot? No, you can't shoot while you have your shield on. Let's see how long it lasts. Infinite. Okay, that's awesome. Let's do that anytime I uh, oh, UFO Oh, Pac-Man Plus says the shield is not infinite. It does wear out. Okay. But does it recharge? It's very long. It lasts for a very long time. A lot longer than I expected. It's a 
little bit dangerous for me. Oh, Pac-Man Plus is on his way out. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for the amazing games. And all the info. <laughs> oh, seems to be all coming for me. It only recharges once you get killed. Oh, oh, oh so, so once it's gone, it's gone. Completely depletes. Not even per level? Oh my god. Yeah, you better well, save it maybe. up. Maybe per level, I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. No, no. Can you thrust while you... Oh, you can. Okay. Okay, let's play two. Okay. So, move the joystick. Two. Competition. Nope. Team, Team play. Uh, beginner. Where? Okay. I am pink. Tanya is green. No! Ah! What? Oh my god, Died this is chaos. There's only one more extra thing on the screen. It's me. No, I, I started drifting off. I was like... Oh. I also haven't been playing with the um, uh, shield, so... The amount of bullets is not the same. We're kind of sharing bullets because I can't fire as fast. I notice. Yeah. This is like kind of two bullets and then stops and two bullets. Which makes sense that, you know, we're sharing bullets. What if we bounce off each other? If we both have our shields on. Maybe. Want to try? Uh, maybe when it's calm enough. What are you uh, doing? You thrust right into it. I didn't mean to. <laughs> Not intentional. Okay, let's try our shields. Oh, okay. Ah! Oh, you're thrusting right into it. I'm not. I, I was okay. trying to go backwards. I killed the last thing. I was going to try the shields. Oh. Ah, haha, I don't like the shields. How do you turn them off? Ah! Oh, my shield is going crazy. What's wrong? I don't know. You ran out. I can't. Oh, there we go. Oh, I. It didn't turn off. I don't know what was going on for a second. Maybe. maybe, yes. That might have been it. rc 70 says, I gotta get a 7800. Never ride one as a kid, oh, but it God. seemed to have the same spirit as the 2600. Now is the time before... I don't know if the prices will go up, but... If they're going to go up, now would be the time that they're going to go up because of all the amazing games that are coming out for them now. And I guess the minor nostalgia factor, it wasn't a massive hit, the 7800. Mm. Um, but the fact that you can play 2600 games on it mm. as well makes it an ideal system to get, because you can play all the millions of 2,600 homebrews, and the 7,800 homebrews as well. Yeah, just get the uh, video out output updated for, like, you know, at least composite, or S-video, or component, or RGB, whatever you want. Actually, there's no RGB yet. No RGB upgrade, unfortunately. Oh, you're back! Oh, how did how did how did, did how, you come how, back? I don't know. How, how <laughs> did I come back? Did I score enough points for an extra life? Oh, we share lives. Do we know we don't? Yes, do we? we do. So if I earn enough. Oh come on! Nope, I go. hit the I hit the shields. Do we share shields? <laughs> uh, maybe. No. Oh. Oh. No. Wasting our lives. <gasps> Shared lives, yeah. Yeah, I was wondering, how did it looks you come like back? I knew a rich kid that had one, never got actually to play it. RC Sony. Now is the time. <laughs> we live your childhood or recreate it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's play 
on competition on easy. Okay. Not my not my strength, but <laughs> okay. okay, you have to do it. Oh. No. No. Oh, you just started. I just started it over. I think you have to There we go. Okay. Yep. Novice? Sure. So we shoot each other? Uh, we can. I would advise you to list it because it would be a very short game. What we're trying to do is not shoot each other. Thanks. You shot me. I didn't mean to. It wasn't intentional. There's no enemies near me, yet you still shot me. No, there were tons of enemies near you. You like to see a replay on that? Oh, you shot me. See? Me. There's all these enemies near me. There were her. <laughs> Liar. <laughs> I'll get them for you. There you go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Hey! Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I did it. I'm Two sorry. Two deaths by you. They're one. Uh, so I win. <laughs> oh, that's the point. We were supposed to kill each other. Like you don't even continue. No. Oh, wow. Okay. No, that I don't like that. That's, that's uh, too short of a game. No mercy. <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, uh, okay, let's play cooperative one. Oh, you have to reset it. You press the button. No, pr pressing the button. Oh, do I just go up and down? I think so. Uh, two? No, that's alternating. That's it. Team play. Team play? Yeah. Okay. Because we're on a team. Intermediate, novice? Expert. Oh, no. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, team play me. makes you alert. What? What was that? What was that? I died immediately. It's like, okay, flashing, flashing, and... Ugh. Oh, my God. Dude, we're doing much, much worse. Oh, we're an expert. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> You're like... <laughs> It's much harder because I don't get as many you don't get as many shots when you're in team play. Pressed it! I pressed it! One more on expert. We've got to do better than that. Just move the joystick. There we go. Okay. I think that's what I did. I, I. Oh my god. Oh, now the shield comes on. That's great. Yep, yeah, that's helpful. What is going on with the shields? I'm not pressing anything. Yeah, it's that's getting stuck on your. Weird. Yours. It's my second button, but it only triggered when I pressed it. It's really interesting. It's because the options I've set. Now I have no shield. Weird. weird, weird, weird. Oh, I can see options. Okay, start Just again. Don't hold it long enough. I want to make sure that. I'm gonna try the shield out again because something is something is weird. It's like yeah, it's it's holding it. No, I have no shield. You have none. No. No, that's there's something wrong with the. Oh, now the shield's working. But I'm dead. Okay, it's behaving properly. Now. This is on the second port. Oh, that's not good. Oh, in the second port? What yeah. Remember I was... Oh, what a tiny UFO. Remember the, the button was cutting out? Oh, yes, before? you're right. And, but this is on the second port now, which leads me to believe that it's not the first port's power cable or anything, or the extension cable. Just playing. <laughs> Bouncing around, you're running out, and yeah. you're out. Cool. 
<sighs> we did start watching Cobra Kai, didn't we? Like uh, the first, I think we saw a couple season. episodes, but we didn't get that far into no, it. No, we didn't. It, it was but okay. We did just get Disney Plus. Oh boy. So now we're watching, we're catching up on all of Bob's Burgers because that's one of our favorite shows. Yeah, all the cartoons are on Disney Plus. Yeah. So, and like then, Family Guy and American Dad. And, then what we do in Shadows, which you're not too impressed with, but I'm enjoying it so it's far. It's okay. So. If it gets I better, love, let me know. I like it. If, I eh, like it. I, I thought the second one was better than the pilot, so. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, keep watching. Cobra Kai is brilliant. Yeah, is I've it? heard it's very good. Okay. I've heard it's very good. Oh, Bob's Burgers. I is love so Bob's Burgers. It's so good. I love it. It's it it has replaced King of the Hill. as Not as the best... But as yeah. now it's still continuing on. In, in so that style of... of realis realism. Like they don't do realism anything... Realism in the characters. Yeah. Like they comedy. Because they don't do anything outrageous. Nothing no. magical. Nothing weird. Nothing they're crazy. They're just normal characters. They're a bit crazy characters. Yeah. But they're not... Yeah. They're not, you know, out of the realm of possibility of these things could happen. Yeah. 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 No, I like it a lot. Andor is really good. Yeah, that looks good too. Ever find a way to do Halt and Catch Fire? No, we never saw it to the end because it, no. got, it got ripped from Netflix before we could finish it. So, yeah, maybe it's somewhere um, else now. It, maybe is it on uh, Apple Disney Plus? I don't know. We'll I don't know. See. We'll have to check. Yeah, love love Let me see where it is. Burgers. Andor. Mm. AMC owns it. Gotcha. Oh, um, who's AMC? Because we're in Canada, so it's actually different. It is different. It's on there are different what? streaming services. Let's see, so. Halt. I was binging other shows, The Expanse and Star Trek Lower Decks. Oh, okay. Not available. Nice. Mm. Uh, nope. Oh, wait. Uh, no, we'd have to subscribe to AMC, and I'm not sure what that's through, but it's like a separate streaming yeah. platform. So we'd have to subscribe specifically to AMC to watch it now, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. There's That'd so much fun. to watch. <laughs> mm. Um... So, great games today. Uh, it was great to catch up on some more of uh, Bob's games mm -hmm. that we haven't... I don't know if we played all of them now. I think we're really close to, to playing them all now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we... What did we cancel? We had HBO and Crave, and we just found we weren't watching it enough, so we yeah. canceled that. It was quite expensive. Yeah. And then Disney Plus, we swapped it out for Disney Plus because it was a little bit cheaper, and there's a lot on there we haven't seen, so yeah. we kind of figured it was a good time. And you can do that because um, you just cancel one and watch yeah. all of um, the stuff you want to watch, and then and cancel then that, that. And cancel that and move to... on to the other one, yeah. Yeah. But we have... Yeah. We don't have a ton of them. We have Prime... Netflix, Disney Plus. I think that's it. And then we have BritBox, but it's mainly for James's mom. <laughs> yes. Which she was really, really happy when we so happy. gave her access to our yeah. BritBox account. So that yeah. was really for her. Yeah, but, she was yeah. super happy. Yeah. Which, was, which made me happy. So. Yeah. Um, so we uh, played Cartesian Chaos today. Yes. Great game. Yes. Looking forward to seeing what happens. Carl Jeezy and Chaos. Carl That's what Jeezy I'm calling. I'm going to remember the developer yeah. by that name. Yeah. Uh, and then the Pac-Man Collection 40th Anniversary, which yeah. is oh well, it's it's released, but yeah. you'll be able to buy it in a couple weeks. And Asteroids Deluxe, which is still in the Atari Age Store, if you like Asteroids. That's Very a fun. Great yeah. version of Asteroids. That's for sure. Um, so Very let's fun. see what's coming up. Um, what is coming up is uh, we're probably gonna have an 8-bit day next day unless some 2600 games pop up mm -hmm. might even do a Jaguar day because there is a Jaguar demo but it's really short so maybe not we'll see we'll see so right now it's 8-bit uh, then we're doing uh, that's on Friday with Darcy then on Monday, a special day because that's Halloween. We're going to be doing a stream. We're moving the Tuesday to Monday. Mm -hmm. Doing a homebrew Halloween special Atari 8 bit games. We've got Hobgoblin 2, Dracula Story, and. Wear your costumes. Wear your costumes. Wear and, your costumes. I don't know. Send us a picture. <laughs> <laughs> Link us a picture somehow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Abu Simbel Profanation. Okay. Crazy name. Uh, and probably one more game, maybe two. Mm -hmm. uh, usually four is enough. Um, so we'll be wearing a costume. The cats will be wearing their cat costumes. They will, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> I don't know when ColecoVision Day is. I've got the mm -hmm. joystick. I don't have the, um, whatever it's called, the upgrade cart mm -hmm. that goes in the Coleco. I'm looking forward to it as well. 
And then after Halloween, we're going to be playing the ABBUC entries, mm -hmm. and they'll be released all by then. SGM, yes. Super Games module. Um, yeah, I've taken that and put it down there. Click Vision Day with the possibly premiere of Link's Moon Cresta. Day. Link's <laughs> Day. So the Lynx is <laughs> on its way. To getting fixed again. To be getting fixed. Yeah. Um, it just started moving again after 20 days. It was sitting somewhere? Sitting in Richmond for 20 days. Here? Yes. Uh. They, it fell off the conveyor belt uh, underneath some paper and uh, they went, oh, what's this? Oh, we got to send this uh, off. Oh my God. Yeah. So it hasn't even made it yeah. to where it's supposed to get fixed. Okay. Um, the person who's fixing it says it's cursed and he's going to exorcise it. <laughs> so hopefully the exorcism yeah. works well. Need a little bit of holy water. Yeah. <laughs> well, make sure it's off first and make sure it is um, <laughs> yes, true, uh, true. distilled. What is it? Distilled? distilled without water? yeah without impurities that's fine you can put distilled water just don't plug it in wait till it evaporates it's true, it's true. um <laughs> or alcohol isopropanol Is isop holy isopropanol <laughs> pack it in rice yeah. yes yeah <laughs> um and i'll continue to release the uh uh prge mm. uh videos it's only nine more to go <laughs> so many many more to enjoy mm -hmm. Um, hopefully I can get those all out this week. If I can, um, get some spare time, I should have some, some more time this week, actually. Wednesday and Thursday should be pretty good. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't have to prepare too much for a homebrew Halloween and we have to get our costumes out. Oh yeah. Make sure they still fit. <laughs> <laughs> two day crash diet yeah yeah exactly oh i'm glad you're loving the uh videos yeah Steve. good more to come more yep, to come many more to come yeah take your time take your time yeah it's yeah you know so you don't release them all at once no. and overwhelm it's nice people. to have content for people Especially on so, days when yeah. there's no shows yeah or no shows being released on youtube exactly. as well exactly um and of course, Atari Age Day Fall Edition is coming up very soon. Mm -hmm. I'll have to contact the developers and organize a date. We're going to do it on a Saturday and a Sunday. And it's before Christmas we're doing it? Oh, yeah. It's like okay. in a couple of weeks. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we'll see when that is. The Every Few Days pattern is good. Oh, good. Watch them on uh, lunch. Good. So that works out well for my ability to make them. <laughs> <laughs> um, mm hmm. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be split up into two days, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. There are 25 games to go over. Um, luckily, some of the people are releasing multiple games, so mm -hmm. I can just talk to them all at once about their games, mm -hmm. and I'd have to switch back and forth, but I still have to do it over two days, mm -hmm. I think. Cause, so it's not 25 developers, <laughs> it's 25 games. Um, and that's it. You have anything to say, Atari? No? You recognize your name, though. I saw he, those ears he, move. The ear went back. He went, sorry, was that treats? Did I hear treats? These cats know a lot of words. Yeah. Whether they uh, cooperate and respond. Acknowledge, yeah. <laughs> dogs respond and acknowledge. Cats go, do I care? Does it involve treats? Yeah. Ah, uh, maybe not. I'll just ignore well, What I find They're is... They're very smart. They, just they don't know care. the tone of your voice when you're talking to them. And that's what yes. I find really funny is because you kind of talk to them like they're little babies. <laughs> yes. Or I do. And uh, they could be lying ha asleep and the eye just opens and the ear goes back when, I, when I'm when i speaking with a certain tone, tone of voice. Right. It's like they know they're being talked to and they'll sometimes murr and make noises. <laughs> um, and, and it's like they know that you're not I'm not talking to James yes. I'm that's the tone of voice pointing for cats. my voice towards the cats right it's really funny yeah how much they understand they do they don't let it on yeah. uh RC70 says, pretty sure my cats say hello. When he yeah. wants to hello? go. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. Yeah. Yeah, they Our do. schnauzer does this all. Aww. Yeah. So thanks for tuning in. S. Ramirez, RC70, Dan yeah. ABC, Chalcedony Mao. Yeah. Mao. Uh, 2600, <laughs> Rendered Ghost. Uh, S. Ramirez. Uh, Pac-Man Plus, of course, for uh, being here and discussing your awesome games with us and filling any blanks that we didn't know. Mm -hmm. um, MK Smith, thanks for tuning in. So far, far, far away. Mm -hmm. um, Huge S79. Uh, Andrew Davey, tuning in from very far away as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Uh, Bitoko has a question about Dr. poll Moon results, Combs? question mark. So oh, you... well, they're long gone because they're off the screen. Yeah. But uh, I still have them. Let us see. Uh, I can actually put them over. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, God, where did it go? Oh, what? Oh, it's gone. It's gone, gone? No. Oh, no. How did I? Oh, well, you'll have to go oh, back no. in the video. Oh, oh did no, you find it? No, it's gone. Oh, no. I think. No. What? Yeah, it's gone. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you'll have to rewind the video after yeah. and, and check it out. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Dr. Moo Cows. Um, That's gone to archive.org. Archive.org, yeah. Uh, Ground Trooper mm -hmm. and everyone else who tuned in today. Uh, these games rocked. Yes, mm -hmm. they did. So two are available in the Atari Age. Actually, all of them you can get. Off Atari Age? And the Atari Age forums. And you can uh, buy one right now. The Asteroids. The and you'll be able to buy the 40th one very soon, within a couple very, weeks very cool. when it's on the uh, in the store. <laughs> nice one, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Uh, I was clicking and I was clicking. No. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was trying to separate it and then it uh, went away. Yeah, that's a very dad move. It is. For you, you mean? Yeah. Oh, God. I once oh, was music. just not paying attention and clicking things on the keyboard and I shifted my screen into like vertical mo mode or horizontal <laughs> mode. And I was at work and I was so embarrassed, but I had no idea what sequence of keys. Alt shift left or right. Is it? Alt yeah. shift? I think alt shift left and right. Move so it, so it. I went on my phone and I was like how to shift you know, the screen <laughs> around and I found it eventually and I was I was just mortified that someone was gonna come up behind me and be like, What's wrong with your screen? <laughs> you should have does your do your screens tilt? <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. This is intentional. <laughs> I yeah, meant I to turn it on its side. Uh, I want to go vertic <laughs> vertical mode for, for like, paperwork. Oh, how did I do that? I had no idea how I had done it. Gotta love hotkeys and things. Oh, yeah, God. when you accidentally press the wrong combo. You're like, ah. Look at that upside down cat. Type sideways, yeah. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Uh, that was yeah. that afternoon. So, Took me a little while to figure it out, too. <laughs> yes, I bet. Yeah. Luckily, you had your phone to look it up. You didn't have to... Yeah type sideways. I think, I think I panicked and then I went, look it up on your phone. <laughs> and then I figured it out. I'm shy. I should be bolder. Ah, uh, oh, oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's, that's good stuff. Oh, I see. Nice one, Dad. Yeah, 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 yeah. For rocks. But you're talking yeah. about me messing up clicking. No, 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 no. No. Uh, Samira says, I start my 15th year next oh, month. Oh, nice. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I'm a software developer. I hate modern tech. Yeah. Yeah, there's good and bad things. It's easier for the average person, but also it dumbs down the average person because they don't need to learn a thing. They just click I, on buttons and it makes it bad. I still hate when they update Word. <laughs> I, I Where just, did go? You get used to a certain version and then I whatever version they're on now, I don't know what it is. And like yeah. the tab display and some of the weird stuff in the newer mm. versions of windows they just piss me off like why why there's no there's no advantage to changing the gui and the formatting of it it's an excuse the to sell a new functions. copy if they have subscription mode this is now, this is me so in my matter. old woman mode it's like like my grumpy old woman it's like <laughs> why why are these things changing there's why no new features as far as i can tell i know <laughs> there's no new features it's just to changing justify it the interaction of it and oh god it's like, i hate it so much how many updates can a word processor have and how many years have i been using this version <laughs> and it still pisses me off when i'm using i just don't know what it is oh, but don't it's worry. like once you get used to it they'll update it again yeah uh so we're gonna be back on friday it's a noon show with darcy so yeah. make sure you tune in then how old lotus lotus now? notes <laughs> Uh, whatever oh, the Commodore Lotus. 64 hey, I work... version of Word Processor is, that's how old we I've been had using Word, Word Perfect. We had all our documents oh, yeah, in Word, Word Perfect. Perfect. Yep, so did I. Because I worked for the Canadian government, or worked for the Canadian government, and they were technically a Canadian Spons company. Code. Yeah. So, oh, yes, so all of the right. government had to use Word Perfect, and at a certain point, it was like, that's oh fine. no, we can't use that anymore. We have to use Word for everything, and mm. everything had to be converted over. 
Word Perfect. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's all go back to Word Perfect. It's a good, good program. I, I don't, liked it. I don't really care about Word Perfect or Word, but uh, Lotus Notes on a flat Word Perfect page. Six. But Word Perfect <laughs> was everywhere. Yep, it dominated. And then just boom, like that was Corel? Microsoft went. Corel. Corel. Corel? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Corel Word Perfect, At which was a Canadian a company, time. and so all of the Canadian government used Corel Word Perfect. It was a good program too. It was fine. Yeah, it was fine. It was a pro. It, was it, was a, it, it worked. Yeah. It was a. It was. Um, you could type in it. <laughs> yep. Anyway. Okay. I digress. We're leaving. Say bye, cats. He's chewing. He's chewing a cord. Nine pin connectors. <laughs> Nine pin connectors. Paper clip. Paper clip. <laughs> That's what I used on the C sixty four. Um, Paper what, clip. What was? I what did I use on the Commodore sixty four? I'm gonna look it up. Paper oh, clip. God. What was it called? There was one, there was no backspace, only a uh, delete. Yep, Atari 8-bit and paperclip. Uh, uh, and eight, Atari 8-bit, Commodore 64, yeah. and 128. Yep. Not, not paperclip. Uh, what was another... Um, not spreadsheet, what is the word? Uh, Look at the name processor. of the publisher. Areola Soft? <laughs> That is a very odd name. <laughs> it's um, a very odd name. Uh, Does not use word wrap to display text on the screen. That was annoying. Yeah. So you could type on it, and it wasn't a GUI. It yeah. wasn't what you see is what you get. You had to do certain characters, but then you could change it into GUI. Like you could go to a mode oh, and then look and at it. Oh, and show it. I know what you mean. It would display. Yeah. It was very, very terrible. Um, but it, I did um, wor uh, schoolwork on it. Yeah, I did schoolwork on a word processor in on the Commodore 64, but what was the name of it? All I remember is... $125. That was a lot of money back then. Wow. You would type over characters. There was no... Insert? Everything was insert. There was like no... if you, you Everything was insert or you typed over characters? You typed over characters. That's not insert then. No, it was an insert. So if you if you moved your cursor and you started typing, you would type over the characters by oh default. Oh, God, that's terrible. I cannot think of the name of oh, what the software I, was I called. I had a dot matrix printer as well. Oh, Backstreet? Gosh. No. Backstreet? Backstreet no. Boys? No. It had a very distinctive name. It was for C64? Name. C64. Oh, we're going to look it up. I C64 know you have to because it's going to kill me. Processors. There's a ton. Easy script, GeoWrite, QuickWrite, InterWord, JazzWord, MasterTech Plus, nope. Orange Point, Bank None Street Writer. None of those. Bank Street, not Backstreet. No. <laughs> Backstreet. I was like Backstreet. Uh, keep going more. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my God. Oh, okay, okay. I'll tell you in a second. It's got to be in that list. Oh, 100% it's going to be in this list. WordWriter, PageFox, Paperclip, Paperback Writer. SpeedScript. I think it was SpeedScript. Mm. Sound like familiar? I think it was speed script. Yeah. Wasn't there another speed script there? No, just one. I think it was speed script. Mm. Is it? Does it say specifically <laughs> that? It was terrible because you couldn't. Uh, you typed. Uh, document editing. Uh, I think it was speed script. I doubt they had that, and you just probably didn't know the key to turn on insert. No, but everything. That would be if really if bad. you if you moved your cursor, you would type over everything. So maybe it was a setting, but I just remember 100%. getting used to typing over words, and then you could hit insert and insert. But the default was you type over the characters. So this was a free program, because it was yeah um, probably yeah. Computes Gazette, that sounds about right. Yeah. Did you have a subscription to that? Yes, we did. In my maybe, house. Maybe yeah. didn't have the insert because it was a free program. Yeah. I think it was SpeedScript. Was the most popular program ever released by Compute as supported by There you go. Back that would issues. make sense. Requests yeah. for disk copies of the program. Uh, later, though slightly more expensive, did not require the user to type in the program. Mm. My dad might have typed it in. That's what? certainly possible. It was, yeah, you I might have had an in. early, early version that didn't have insert, and you just typed. You just typed over. I, I just remember that. Like, maybe it was a setting, but I'm pretty sure. 
Overwrite and insert mode. Speed script defaults to overwrite. Overwrite mode. That's that was it. It defaults to it. Yeah. It's just a matter of a few key presses. So yeah. your, your childhood oh, no, no. could have been saved. No, 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 no. I knew about the insert mode, but oh. you would get used to overwrite mode because oh, it was the okay. default. So when I was typing and I moved to like WordPerfect or whatever I, I did after that, because I used it for like 15 years. Yeah, because that's because that is <laughs> so, now the default mode is always is always insert, insert mode because that makes sense. Yeah. What? Because otherwise you have to calculate how long is that word? And how long is the word that I need to put in? Well, it has to be exactly the same size. Or I have to back... Did backspace get rid of things? Yes. Well, then how would you ever insert anything? I think so. I think yeah. backspace went in. It's just yeah. you'd always type over. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> it's a weird thing to suddenly remember, but... That's not homebrew related. Yeah. <laughs> You're kicked off the chat. Well, you did type in the program, so... Yeah, we'll brew yeah. back then. We'll brew back then. Okay, we're leaving now yes. for reels. Okay, uh, see you on Friday yeah. noon with Darcy. See you then. Bye. Bye.